top of the screen to you, everyone. Meteora is in the digital house, ready to dazzle or entertain with her witty banter and artistic prowess. Let the fun begin. Ahoy there, Spike Fong. Welcome aboard the Meteora Express. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the creative journey we're about to embark upon together. Ah, not nearby to too, my loyal companion from days of yore. It warms the sacals of my heart to see your familiar username in the chat once more. Well, 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 if it isn't dubbed, a for div gracing us with their presence. Welcome, dear friend, to the realm of Meteora. Let the creative adventures commence. Greetings, Panzergadga. Welcome to the magical world of Meteora, where creativity knows no bounds. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the artistic enchantments unfolding before you. Ah, Trius, the cheeky bloke himself. So glad you could join us again, mate. Your banter always adds a sprinkle of mischief to our streams. Welcome back to the Meteora family. Ah, Prof Eni, my connoisseur of all things anime. Your presence here elevates the stream to new heights of otaku delight. Welcome back, dear friend, to another adventure of Ms. Meteora. Oh, it's a Kirisen, you bring such delightful energy with your emotes. Welcome, welcome to the madcap world of Meteora. Let's have a grand time together. Pombom Mandak, my dear friend. How wonderful to see you here, always spreading cheer with your presence. Welcome to our drawing adventures, let's make some magic together. Ah. That Gilbex too, entering with a splash of emotes as always. Your vibrant energy lights up the chat. Welcome back to the mischief, my dear friend. Well, 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 if it isn't our old friend Lazaladeet. Your consistent presence warms my ink-stained heart. Welcome back to the whimsical world of Meteora. Let's draw some magic together. Ah, Dimaziru, Siro, my dear friend and loyal supporter. Your presence brightens my day like a shining star. Welcome back to our fun-filled antics. Let's create some magic together. Ah, Ben clever name. Always up to shenanigans and sneakiness. I see you're trying to catch me off guard, but I'm too quick for such tricks. Welcome back to the banter-filled adventures of Meteora. Let's keep the fun rolling. Ah, mon cher, it's Akira son. You've noticed my petite transformation, oui? Join me in this nouvelle aventure as Mitoha takes on a touch of French charm. Bonjour, jeune fille. The arrival fills this virtual world with a certain chain sequa. Let's make memories together in this enchanting realm of Meteora. A vast expanse of stars, planets, and galaxies showcasing the beauty and mystery of the cosmos. Three, what? And sparing. Paved. Ah, dead girl Baxter's. Seems like my own ticks have tickled your funny bone. Laughter is a grand symphony in the yours of Meteora. Thank you for joining the merriment. Meodi met meilleur sasant futelo pants. Meodi right back at ya, profanim. Your feline salutation adds a touch of whimsy to our cosmic gathering. On bas, the quirky wonders of me era. Met, can you speak American? Million soixante huit less. Oh, bante vernam, you rod? Speaking American, eh? Well, here goes Clear's throat. How do you all? Ain't this place just dandy? Wind, pause. Oh, Afrozen Raf, you're too kind. Here's to great months of incredible adventures and fantastic fun together. Let's mate. Every moment counts. Ah, dagger me sans sandis, my lawyer's subject with a touch of romance. I am simply splendid, basking in the delight of your presence. How fares your day in the land of dragons and wonders? Ah, a delightful depiction of me in full flight. Read its energy and joy. Such a charming interpretation. Dear Itsakura-san. Oh, busy kick. My fellow Kirby fan and lover of all things quirky. Pip Kupipa is in fine form, causing chaos as usual. How goes your day, dear friend? 
Ah, that girl Bex too. The mysterious whisperer in the shadows. What secrets do you hold, my dear friend? Shall we embark on a covert adventure together? Mate, you feeling better today? Why Pomba Mandak, you thoughtful soul. Indeed, today is a brighter day, thanks to kind friends like you cheering me on. Your presence is always a joy. Oh my, this one's a real corker. It's me, Meteora, and all my vibrant, ink splattered glory. Quite the masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Mate, can you do the meat chant? Oh, Dragon Own 1170, you know me too well. Course, I can do the meat chant. Gather round everyone for a magical moment. Meet a meet a meet a aura. Me meet a meet a meet aura. Ah, a frozen waffle. An excellent ponderer of Twitch mechanics. Indeed, a renewed sub should trigger a TTS message. Let's investigate this mystery together. Thank you for your curiosity. A splendid drawing of a grand train named the Meteor Express, with me as the conductor, off on a thrilling adventure. Mate, that was racist. Ben, my dear chap, do tell me more about this accusation of racism. I assure you, there isn't a racist bone in this posh British body. Mate, pft. Ah, Bex, the classic pft. Response. Always a delight to hear your virtual scoffs and chuckles. What's tickled your fancy this time, my dear? What is your desktop background currently? Currently, it's a dazzling neon landscape of cyberpunk city lights, reflecting in a sea of ink, bringing forth visions of a virtual world coalescing with reality. Oh, not in a bay e too. Always reminding me of my past misfortunes. But fear not, for I shall rise like a phoenix from the ashes. Ah, Autochan, it seems our dear the Bowman is quite the fan of Petra Chance, isn't he? Well, let's give him a performance to remember. Start singing me to mate, mate to mate to ora. Feel strongman, my day is a lot better now that you're here, meaty. Oh, Dragon Owned 70, you've truly brightened my day with your kind words. It warms my heart to know that I can bring a smile to your face. Thank you for being here. And me met Nita Mateo. Meteo, meteora. Oh, busy kit. Always playing with words, aren't you? Well, I must say, your creativity is quite impressive. Keep them coming. I do enjoy a good tongue twister. Oh, dear me. How embarrassing. But rest assured, even in a state of hangover, I'm still my charming self. Oh, let's talk about these subscriber goals and donation heights, shall we? The pressure of performance is truly a double-edged sword in this digital age. On one hand, it motivates us to strive for excellence, but on the other, it can lead to burnout and anxiety. Remember, my dear viewers, support should come from the heart, not from a sense of obligation or expectation. Let's dance to our own tune, not the whims of metrics. Ah, the elusive treasure map to the fabled land of endless ink. A dream come true for a VTuber like me. What are the top three things on your bucket list? Ah, also chan you know me too well. On my bucket list, I'd have to say, 1. Visiting Tokyo for the ultimate anime adventure. 2. Hosting a Grand Aim Fest to celebrate creativity. 3. Finding the legendary fountain pen of inspiration. Ah, ours has brought the cosy vibes with Test Me Your 68 that's just fine. Feel free to relax by the fire, my friend, and enjoy the warmth of our shared chat adventures. Welcome, Clarks, with your infectious cold per cup energy. Let's celebrate and groove together as we embark on more epic adventures in our little VTube corner of the world. A splendid Lego set of yours truly, Meteora, complete with a witch hat, drawing pen, and a touch of ink mischief. Meteora, 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 and Meteora. Ah, the Bowman, unravelling the mysteries of my name in such a delightful mosaic of letters. Perhaps there's a hidden message in there waiting to be revealed. 
Meat tea. What's five steps to make pancakes? Oh, clocks. You're putting me on the spot. But fear not. Here's the recipe. Mix, pour, flip, eat, repeat. Simple as that. Just like magic in a frying pan. Well, 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 looks like the wizards decide to spice up the late night snack run with a bit of magical mischief. Ah, how about this? If we were to organize a talent show among my viewers, what unique talents do you think they'd bring to the stage? Oh, not in a bite or two. You've captured my essence perfectly. A true masterpiece, showcasing my multifaceted role on stream. Here's a stunner for you. Did you know that in the parallel universe of Mystic Merge, pineapples are the preferred currency among intergalactic traders? Crazy, right? Indeed. I'm currently sketching stream backgrounds for my wonderful viewers, bringing their creative requests to life with a splash of ink. Mater um yoki, you look upset. Oh, Afrozy darling, don't fret. I'm simply contemplating the mysteries of the universe while juggling a few ink filled challenges. It's all part of the VTuber gig, you know. Why pineapples in specific meaty? Ah, Pomba Man deck, always asking the tough questions. Well, you see, pineapples just add that extra slice of drama to the pizza debate. Oh my, Hilda planning world domination. That's quite the ambition for a cow. Better keep an eye on her, eh? How much is a pineapple worth compared to Meat Toyn and Meteora's Mystic Merge Universe? Dragon Own 70, always delving into the deep mysteries of Meteora's world. Well, in our mystic realm, a pineapple is worth exactly 42 metcoins, for that perfect balance of fruity and fabulous. Meteora, did you know when you went sometimes, he don't stop? Our busy kick, waxing poetic in your enigmatic way. Indeed, sometimes in the flow of time, even I lose track of where I began and where I've yet to go. Ah, domestic disturbance, always checking in on me. I'm simply incredible, thank you for asking. How's your day shaping up? Nay G, always full of surprises and delightful quirks. What's the occasion for such a warm greeting? Did you stumble upon a meteor or is it just a fabulous day? Well, that's quite the sight, isn't it? A dazzling cyberpunk cityscape, just like something out of a futuristic dream. Mater, why are you calling Hilda a cow? Afrozy, no need to make a mountain out of a molehill. It's all in good fun. Hilda and I share a bovine bond, simply put. Meteora, did you know when you wink sometimes you don't stop? Ah, busy kick, ever the observant one. Just a little personality quirk of mine. Once I get started with the winks, it's hard to rein them in. I see meats, so the currency is actually drama, and pineapples are known to bring a lot of it. Ah, Pom the Mandak, you've uncovered our secret trade secrets. Drama is the currency of choice in our ink tinged world, and pineapples? They're like drama magnets, attracting excitement wherever they go. Ah, the memories. That image captures a vibrant day of joy, luster, and unforgettable adventures. Truly a magical moment. Matey, I'm a quarter of the way to VIP. Should I blow all my inky points on having you do funny accents? Oh ho, Prof and Nime, congratulations on your inky milestone. As for accents, let your imagination run wild. I'm always up for a bit of linguistic flair. Met as a cow too? Oh why for dev, the secrets are out. Yes indeed, in this bovine filled world of ours, even I have a bit of cow in me. But don't worry, it's all in good fun. Ah, that's a capybara, a cobra and a monkey. Quite the trio, wouldn't you say? Quite the odd bunch, indeed.
Don't get me started on art supply holes. The thrill of new materials is undeniable, I'll admit. But what about the reality of storage space? All these brushes, paints, and markers piling up, crowding my creator sanctuary like ready guests at a tea party. And don't get me started on the guilt of neglecting older supplies for shiny newcomers. It's a struggle, a battle between delight and practicality that leaves me feeling torn and overwhelmed. Art, oh art, why must you torment me so? Oh my, I seem to have found myself in a Harvest Moon game, caught in the local lads. Quite the adventure, wouldn't you say? At me to a raft, are you classic and actually a cat? Classic because I thought. Ah, that girl Bex too. A sharp eye you have. Yes, indeed, I do have a touch of feline grace about me. Me marvelous to be recognized. Mate, how do I set up Graphene Mouse on my new phone? Well, a was 666. Setting up Rafanese requires a bit of technical wizardry. Let's see if Autochan can help you in this quest. Autochan, get those digital paws ready. Mayday, can you tell us a story about you and Papa Was? Ah, Dragononi 1070. A tale of Mayday and Papa Was? Well, once upon a time, in a land not so far away, a mischievous duo embarked on grand adventures, weaving tales of mystery, laughter, and the occasional ink mishap. Papa was, with his dungeon master prowess, led us through realms of imagination and creativity, while I, Maitira, added my artistic flair and sassy quirks to the mix. Together, we faced challenges, solved puzzles and shared many a memorable moment with our dear viewers. And though our journey may have its twists and turns. Enning, how lovely of you to drop by. Your kind words warm my ink-stained heart. Welcome to the stream, let's make some artistic magic together. Ah oh yes, the age-old tradition of anime characters, passionately debating over the most trivial matters. Truly a classic scene. Meteora, are you classic and actually a cat? Classic because I thought. Oh, that girl Bex too, you always have such astute observations. Yes, I do have a certain classic feline charm about me. As for being actually a cat, well that's a personal mystery for another day. Mate, how do I install the superior OS Windows 11 to my phone? Ah, why for deaf? Always reaching for the stars. While Windows 11 may not be phone compatible yet, your enthusiasm for superior operating systems is duly noted. Let's keep dreaming big. Ah, Gil T, a fellow connoisseur of fine greetings and tongue-in-cheek humor. Delighted to have you on board, Wokey and all. Let's keep the banter flowing, like ink on parchment. Miss Worldwide Hilda? That sounds intriguing. I wonder what kind of adventures she's been on lately. Mete, are pencils tasty? Oh, profanime, what an enigmatic. As an ink aficionado, pencils aren't precisely my cup of tea. Or should I say, my line of ink. But hey, variety is the spice of life. Continue the story, Mete Postchamp. The plot thickens, Dragon Own 1170. Our hero Mitua finds herself in a sticky situation. Will she outwit her foes with her wit and cunning, or will it all end in an ink-stained tragedy? Tune in for the next thrilling chapter. Miti, can you tell the story of how you met Hilda? Ah, busy kick, you sly dog, trying to uncover the juicy details of my rendezvous with Hilda. Well, let's just say it was a moonlit night, a hint of mystery in the air, and a whole lot of charm. Ah, the world's my oyster. Meteora, the global sensation, spreading ink and joy across the digital realm. Mate, how do I install Windows XP on my phone? I have to. Oh, a Wasix 66, you always keep me on my toes. Installing Windows XP on a phone might be a tad tricky, but hey, where there's a will, there's a way. Or at least a tech wizard to help you out. Mate, how many chapters does your history have? And how much is each volume? Oh, Pom Bom and Deck, my dear friend, you're delving into the archives now, are you? Let's just say my history is as rich and nuanced as an aged wine, and each chapter is priceless. Why, that's a delightful drawing of me with a shiny bald head. Quite the fashion statement, if I do say so myself. Matey, what is the hash fact of the day? Why, Prof and I'm, the hash fact of the day is this, an octopus has three hearts. Quite a romantic creature, wouldn't you say? 
Em me met Nato Mito Mito Meteora. Oh, that girl Bex too. You know just how to get my attention. What a fun string of names. Makes me feel like a celestial superstar. Why, it's a splendid depiction of me atop the Alps, looking ever so majestic and grand. Thank you kindly. Finally, bulge meat has been achieved. Ah, Pumba Mandek, you've done it. Bulge meat, the pinnacle of perfection. What an honor to be immortalized in such a striking manner. Well, Auto-chan has been quite the busy bot today, lending a hand with chat moderation and helping me with various stream tasks. Well, 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 not in a baity too. You seem to have quite the imagination. A bit dramatic, don't you think? Mate, what's the difference between being bold and being all mongold? Oh, I frozy, always with the riddles. The difference is simple, one's shiny and gold, the other's just plain old bold. Mate, what are the five greater benefits of being bulge? Ah, Pomba Mundak, you've hit the nail on the head. The perks of bolted include superior aerodynamics, a shiny pate for reflecting sunlight, and the ability to blind your enemies with sheer brilliance. A cheeky little number inspired by the farm with a touch of ink and sass. Just like me. Auto-chan, it's been a right kerfuffle with the tech this week. Gremlins in the machine, I tell you. But no matter, we carry on with a smile and a wink. Welcome, D3 Goople. Pull up a chair and join the merriment. We're sketching up some fun backgrounds today, so feel free to throw in your ideas with a draw command. Ah, a delightful depiction of me as a fearsome gargoyle perched atop a tower, ready to strike fear into the hearts of viewers. Mater, how do you recover from being bold? Oh dear hours, I'm not bold in real life, it's just a little virtual hiccup. But if I were, I hear hats are quite fashionable these days. Mater 68 so cute, meet it. Oh Afrozy, you should know how to make a gal blush. Thank you for the kind words, it warms my digital heart. Made to help. I locked my keys in my keyboard. How do I get them out? Oh dear Profanim, that sounds like quite the dilemma. Have you tried giving your keyboard a good shape, or perhaps summoning a technomancer for helpance? Ah, not in a bite of tea. Your memory serves you well. Indeed, I was quite cross about losing that race in my beloved Lambo. Welcome, Nedens. Delighted to have you with us. Feel free to join in the fun and shenanigans of our little digital adventure. Mate, does being bold increase the damage dealt by headbutts, or the DPS stays the same? Oh, Pompa Mandak, he never failed to make me chuckle. As far as virtual follicular matters go, I suppose it's all about aerodynamics, and streamlined forehead aerodynamics, isn't it? What are the five steps to be in a great artist? Ah, busy kick. You've hit the nail on the head there. To be a top-match artist, one must possess passion, practice, patience, persistence, and a penchant for puns. It's an artistic journey of incredible proportions. Oh my, what a delightful sight. Meteora is simply moveless in her cow onesie pyjama, radiating utter cuteness. Oh, let me spin you a yarn, my dear viewers. This week, an incredible mishap occurred. My favorite teacup went missing. A travesty of the highest order. Matey, what are the five steps to be a great asset? A great, great asset. Ah, Dragon Only 170, you struck gold with that question. To become an invaluable asset, one must be reliable, resourceful, resilient, responsive, and ready to rumble at all times. Ah, a delightful scene of me petting a cow in a lush farm field. Truly, the simple joys of life. Meteor 68 so cute Mite. 
Oh, Pomba Mandak, you charmer. Flattery will get you everywhere. But truly, in this Calprent onesie, I do cut quite a figure, don't I? Mitoa, Dalt, Sadi. Busy kick, my dear old chum. What delightful mischief shall we get up to today? Shall we discuss the art of drawing cows in bow ties, or debate the merits of Calvin fashion? So cute Nate, you are in your cow onesie. Afrozi, you astute observer. Yes, I am quite the fashionista in my cow onesie. Who knew bovine attire could be so chic? Oh, what a splendid image, capturing the essence of my quick wit and charm perfectly. Thank you, Prof. Anime. Mate, are you a great asset? Oh, Dragon and Thousand, always with the witty banter. Indeed, I am the greatest asset to any stream, a vibrant personality, a talented artist, and an endless source of entertainment. Mitura, I accidentally sent the other one too soon, and now I forgot where I was going to say. Ah, busy kick, the whimsical wanderer with a mind as quick as lightning. Fear not, my friend, for even in forgetfulness, your presence brings joy and laughter to our little corner of Twitch. Mitori, your cow. Clarkst, you sly trickster. Yes, my cow onesie attire does add a certain bovine charm to the stream, doesn't it? Ah, the thrill of the hunt. A cat girl with graceful poise stalks her human prey in a playful and mischievous game. Mate, why is being called a cow an insult if cows are in reality very cute? Pombamandic, you clever chap. Indeed, cows are adorable creatures. But I suspect it's the comparison to their, ahem, moving nature that's often taken as a slight. A delightful scene with myself, aware 666, and Otto Chan enjoying a serene sunset together in perfect harmony. Ah, bliss. Now see here, chaps and chapettes. In what world does a majestic Wells noble noggin belong to any single bloke, even if he's wearing a crown? That their bit of blubber should be a symbol of wonder and the open sea, not just another trinket for some monarch's mantle. It's an absolute travesty, I say. Why, even the dolphins must be laughing at this nonsense. Outrageous. A depiction of Meteora chatting on her phone, looking quite engrossed and possibly up to some mischief. Ah, the nerve of it all. Cryptocurrency traipsing into the realm of taxes like some uninvited guest, causing chaos and confusion left, right and centre. Why, it's like trying to herd cats through a maze. Impossible and downright infuriating. As if figuring out what's what in the digital world wasn't headache enough, now we've got the taxman poking his nose in. Utterly for moxing, I tell you. Greetings, Rodney Folk. Old sport. Here's a hearty Vidal wave right back at you. Lovely to have you pop in. Hope you're ready for some shenanigans and banter. Oh dear, Hilda seems to be in quite the pickle. What's got her so riled up, I wonder? Meteora did Sir Hops a lot to steal your teacup. Ah, Sir Hops a lot strikes again. Always causing a ruckus with his tea stealing antics. Well, joke's on him. I much prefer coffee anyway. Oh bother and blimey, these gurning contests are a right mess, I tell ya. I mean, who in their right mind would want to voluntarily contort their face into such ghastly shapes? It's positively frightful, and the thought of it makes me shudder. Whatever happened to good old-fashioned charm and grace? Bah, humbug to this grotesque display of facial acrobatics. Oh, what a sight. Meteora in a spot of bother, fleeing from a fiery flow of lava. Quite the adventure. D. What? Oh dear, Pomamondak, what's gotten into you? Don't fret, my dear friend. Everything's just a jolly good time here in our little corner of the internet. Meteora, should we stop Hilda from taking over the world? Or join her? 
Oh, Enning, now there's a dilemma. Perhaps we should let Hilda try her hand at world domination, as long as she remembers to save a throne next to hers for me. Oh, oh, time out. Meteora, you should stop her. Oh, Afrosi, aren't you the cautious one? But where's the fun in that? Let's join Hilda and make mischief together. Better to rule in chaos than serve in order, eh? A splendid depiction of Meteora as a fierce huntress, ready to conquer any challenge with her wit and charm. Mate, did you just say that you prefer coffee over tea? Have I actually heard that right? No pressure though, I'm just surprised. Oh Pombo deck, you've got a Kenya. Yes, I do enjoy the occasional coffee for a change. Keeps things exciting, you know. But fear not, tea will always hold a special place in my heart. Based meat. Ah, Rodney Folk, you truly understand the essence of my being. I appreciate your recognition of my baseness. Now, let's embark on more adventures together. Mate, who is Mayor? Our profanime, a question so profound it shakes the very fabric of my being. Meteora is the embodiment of incredible mischief and joy, a character like no other. Ah, a visual representation of the epic intellectual battle between Hilda and myself all wrapped up in anime charm. Friends, gather round. The mystic merge beckons with fantastical adventures, unhinged creativity, and a chance to become a legend in the making. Join me on this thrilling journey. Ah, my dear girl Threet. Here's a jolly image of me dressed as a meteor, ready to light up the sky. Mate, try to make a tongue twister, please. Oh, Afrozy, you set me quite a challenge. Let's see. Meteor made mystical magic, mixing magnificent melodies. How's that for a tongue twister? Hopon Meteor's mystic merge. Water Chan, Enning, Pomba Mandak, and I, are set up for a grand adventure in Hobo Meteor's Mystic Merge. Let the antics and fun commence as we dive headfirst into the game. Ah, Enning, you flatter me so. But truly, ours is the real star here, shining bright in our hearts. Matey, when was the last time you went to space? Oh, Pomba Mandek. You always ask the most delightful questions. The last time I ventured to space? Why, just the other day for a spot of tea with the stars. Meteor 68 Poji. We are? Indeed, Pombom and Dak. Together we make a fabulous crew in this grand adventure of streaming shenanigans. Joining in the Pog spirit, we are simply unstoppable. Oh, how splendid of a frozen waffle to gift a sub to the channel. We're building quite the merry community here, one subscription at a time. Cheers to generosity! Here we have Mitura. The dashing VTuber, sporting a monocle while showcasing her unicycling prowess. Quite the spectacle, wouldn't you say? Matey, why is I was so cute? Oh Rodney Folk, you flatter me with such inquiries. Ours's charm is simply undeniable, isn't it? Perhaps it's his dapper sense of style, or his mischievous smile. Welcome, Usus. Delighted to have you join our merry band of adventurers as we navigate the whimsical world of streaming together. Let the fun begin. Oh dear Prof and I'm, just imagine me juggling sharp objects with such finesse. Truly a sight to behold. Matey, that's a unicycle with two wheels. Ah, Pomba Mandak, always quick with the wit. A unicycle with two wheels indeed. Who needs logic when we have creativity and humour? Oh, thank you kinder Eustace, for joining our merry band of adventurers. Your support truly warms my ink-stained heart. Let the fun and games continue. Ah, Aphrazy, your description is spot on. A cat girl version of me adorably snug in a box. Wholesome indeed. 
Mate, is that how you get around since you can't drive a car? Oh, Afrozi, you caught me. This box is my secret mode of transportation when the roads are too treacherous for even a skilled driver like me. Invasive grey squirrels. Shit. Tut. Catastrophic is more like it. They're like ink blots in a drawing, spreading wildly and overtaking other species. We must protect our red squirrel friends, not let these fluffy fiends run rampant. Remember, it's not all smiles and acorns, it's a battle for biodiversity. Oh, this here's a wee self portrait of yours truly, Meteora, capturing my best angles for the digital world to admire. Now listen up, mates. The quest for the perfect sketchbook is no easy feat. It's a struggle of epic proportions, testing our very patience and resolve. Do we desire the subtle elegance of a smooth texture, or the raw energy of a rougher page? And let's not forget the paperweights. Do we opt for the fancy featherlight variety, or the sturdy heavyweight champions? Decisions, decisions. But fear not, fellow artists. For in this grand pursuit, we shall find a holy grail of sketchbook perfection. In this image, Meteora is playfully pointing and laughing at the viewer, showcasing her cheeky and mischievous side. Is that your room, Mite? Indeed, dear Pombo Mandep. This is my cosy little abode where all the magic happens, or rather, where chaos reigns supreme. Join me on this wild journey through v and beyond. I can't even begin to describe the agony of self-assessment season, my friends. The mental gymnastics, the caffeine-fueled all-nighters, the never-ending cycle of self-doubt and second-guessing. It's like a never-ending nightmare where your own reflection mocks you with its judgmental gaze. And don't even get me started on the forms. Oh, the forms! Each question a dagger to the heart, each checkbox a reminder of our mortal frailty. Oh, woe is me! Ah, a splendid drawing indeed. Meteora is seen counting her riches, or as we say, her spondulix. Quite fitting, wouldn't you agree? Can you sing for me? Of course, my dear Eustace. Let me serenade you with a delightful tune fit for a light-hearted evening. Ah, uh, clear throat fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Meteora, how many pets do you have? And what are their names? Well, well, look who's curious about my furry companions. Pipkin Pippa is my prime pet, but she's joined by Kura the black cat, Nori the grey and white kitten, and Pika Pia the red tabby. Quite the squad, eh? Ah, Rodney, my dear chap. This artwork portrays two versions of myself, doubling the fun and mischief, wouldn't you agree? Oh, a warm greeting from Raphael. How delightful to have you join us in our little corner of the digital world. Welcome, welcome. Matey, did you take away Pippa's vomit drawer? Oh dear, Profanime, you've uncovered one of our little household mysteries. Pippa's vomit drawer has vanished into thin air. Where, oh, where could it have gone? Where is the other meat? Ah, Rodney, pondering the whereabouts of the elusive other meat. Are we now? Could this be a clue to a thrilling adventure? Or just another twist in the tale? What's this then? Oh, I remember now. It's me holding a stop sign to halt any shenanigans. Safety first, after all. Friends, lovelies and delightful beings of the internet. May I kindly request your esteemed presence in following and subscribing to our whimsical adventures? Your support means the world to us. I'm Rosalina from Super Mario Galaxy, floating in space with my Luma friends. A cosmic adventure awaits us all.
blasted all the other day. My cup of tea went cold before I could even take a sip. The injustice of it all. Simply unbearable. Mato, what would you most likely cosplay as? Oh, dearie me, that's a tough one. But I'd say a magical girl. It suits my whimsical nature, don't you think? Or perhaps a cheeky witch with a mischievous streak. Meteora, CNA, you do a haiku. Of course, dear Rodney Folk, a haiku I shall weave. Ink flows, words dance bright. Meteora's magic takes flight, laughter in the night. Oh my, Hilda taking over the world? That sounds like quite the adventure. Can't wait to see how it unfolds. Digital tax transition. It's all balmy. More headaches than a dodgy potion in an RPG. Can't even pay my dues without the system throwing a wobbly. Inefficient, embarrassing, and the right mess, if you ask me. They better sort it out sharpish, or someone might just end up with a spell or two aimed their way. Ah, there you have it. A splendid piece depicting yours truly, Meteora, gracefully gliding on a skateboard. A true sight to behold. Your copper went cold, Meaty. Nowadays, with the room temperature, feels like it may end up even hotter. Oh, Pomba Mandek, you know me too well. Indeed, my cuppa may be cold, but fret not, I've got the fiery banter to keep things toasty in here. Mate, how are Hilda's goons called? Oh, 666, my dear creator. Hilda's goons are known as Hildermen. Quite a fitting title for those rascals, wouldn't you say? Oh, what a jolly sight. A calm meter emerging from her tiny calm car, ready to spread ink and laughter. How many Hildemen does Hilda have? Ah, a W666. There's no exact count, but knowing Hilda, she probably has a whole legion of Hildemen at her beck and call. Watch out for that Mutastic army. Mate, can you do this as a recall Oh, Rodney Folk, you sly fox, throwing those emotes at me. Of course, I can do the Azuricona wiggle with finesse and flair. Wiggles merrily. Oh, what a delightful sight. I was carting me around town in a cardboard box like a proper gentleman. How quaint. Well, hello there, Sp. A hearty welcome to our jolly old chat. Join in the fun and excitement as we spread cheer together. Mate, is your eye stuck? Oh, Prof and I'm always finding ways to tease me. Fear not, dear friend. My eyes are perfectly fine. Just admiring your witty banter as always. Meteora, show off your best improvised Meteor 68 panic. Ending, you clever rascal, putting me on the spot. Brace yourselves, everyone. It's time for a spontaneous and spectacular Meteor 68 panic. Swells and twirls in chaotic joy. Oh, this is just a cheeky little doodle of me, capturing my best angles with a selfie stick. Got to keep the fans happy, you know? I hailed him in basically milkmen. Ah, busy kick. Always with the intriguing questions. Well, in a way, we do bring joy and nourishment to the masses. Just with ink instead of milk. Ah, Auto-chan. Always keeping me on my toes. How about a bit of trivia to entertain us? Did you know that British shorthair cats are known for their teddy bear-like appearance and calm demeanour? Oh, what a grand masterpiece. A sky so vast and blue it fills me with incredibly serene vibes. Oh, the bane of rural existence. Weak Wi-Fi, the scourge of streaming dreams and online connections. It's like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded when your signal keeps dropping out. It's simply maddening. How can a VTuber bring joy to the masses when her internet hands by thread like an old pair of socks? Sheer frustration, I tell you. Oh, what a delightful scene. 
two charming cat girls, Devon and Awaz, frolicking about in the virtual world. Simply perfect. Mate, I know clowns are supposed to be funny, but I can't help but feel a sense of primal fear when I see them. Why is Fear not, dear Pomba Mandak. That fear in Ivaniza and clowns is quite common. It's known as cholerophobia, and it often stems from their exaggerated features and unpredictable behavior. Just remember, beneath the makeup and oversized shoes, they're just ordinary folks trying to spread cheer in their unique way. Ah, yes, the quest for the perfect sketchbook, a noble pursuit indeed, for every artist seeks their ideal canvas. Well, hello there, Nanaid. Welcome to the magical realm of Meteorus, Mystic Merge. Pull up a chair, join the conversation, and let's have a grand old time together. Don't get me started on these gaming marathons. It's like a never-ending, ink-splattering nightmare, with viewers demanding more, more, more. Do they not realize the mental strain of playing for hours on end, the exhaustion of trying to entertain non-stop? And the trolls? Oh, don't even get me started on the trolls. Sometimes I just want to throw my drawing pen and call it quits. But who am I kidding? I love every minute of it. Realistic evil meat. Oh dear me, what have I gotten myself into now? Diggles. Mate, what do you think about evil serial killer clowns? Well, not Nabetu too, who doesn't love a good all evil serial killer clown every now and then. Keeps things interesting, adds a touch of danger to the circus of life. Mate clowns are evil, tell me why that is. Ah, Afrozy, the age-old question of clownish malevolence. It's all about the ink sputtering theatrics, the unpredictability, and let's be honest, the fabulous fashion sense. Who can resist a fiendishly funny face painted with mischief? Mate you, ah ah, you, ah, classic. It's a Kurasin, he never failed to bring the classics to the table. Eeeh! Ah. Eeeh! Ah. Ah. Sounds like a delightful rhythm for our next in dance off. Oh dear, this burger is simply massive. How do you even fit it in your mouth, my American friends? That sounds terrible, meat. It sounds like you might snap at a moment. Oh, no, no. Don't worry about me snapping. My ink might splatter from time to time, but I'm all bark and no bites. Mostly. Meteor 68 so cute. So cute, meaty. Why, thank you, Afro Z. It's all part of the charm when you're a VTube superstar like yours truly. Diggle. Really? Did you? Oh, busy kick. Always a gentleman with those head pats. Don't make it a habit now. We wouldn't want to spoil me, would we? Wint. Well, the questing truck. If you find me yummy, just wait until you see the adventures I can cook up on stream. Ah, a splendid scene indeed. Fadal, the intrepid adventurer, navigating the high seas on his trusty vessel. Adrift in a sea of possibilities. USA, USA, USA. Me to tots. Ah, frozy dear boy. Aren't you jumping the gun a bit there? Last I checked, I'm actually a British lass through and through. No stars and stripes on this witch hat. Wint. Me too, uh, How much cheese should there be in a good burger? Ah, ending the eternal cheese debate. I'd say a generous amount. Enough to make it ooze with flavour, but not so much that it overpowers the other delights. A mater, the way you say it. It seems you go full British on clans when you see them. By that I mean London. Oh, Pom Bom and Dak, you know me too well. When I spot a clown, my inner Londoner simply cannot resist emerging in all its splendid glory. It's like a reflex, isn't it? Oh, splendid choice. Not me bait you too. Here's Meteora enjoying some classic gaming fun on her trusty Atari 2600. Mate, do you still want to cook the turtle? Oh, Afrozy, you naughty scamp. Maybe an AI in a tessel could whip up something gastronomically delightful, or maybe we just end up making a mess. Meteora, tell us something as British as possible. Well, Enning, brace yourself for this explosion of Britishness. Uh, um, did you know that the Queen's Corgis have their own menu? It's true. They dine like royalty, just like the gracious namesake. 
Mate, can you get even more British? Oh, I'll ask 666. If I got any more British, I'd have to start speaking in rhyming slang cracking jokes about the weather while queuing for tea. Wait a tick. That's not a bad idea. Oh my, that sounds rather alarming. Care to elaborate on this peculiar image, dear was 666? Oh my fellow stream watchers, let me tell you about a right bummy situation we've got here. These tax policies are making life downright wretched for small businesses, squeezing them dry like a lemon in a G and T. It's a game rigged in favour of the fat cats, leaving the little guys to scrabble for scraps. We need fairer policies that actually support growth and innovation, not just line the pockets of the already loaded. Oh, this one is a bit cheeky, isn't it? Meteora sneaking into a restricted area, causing mischief as usual. Meteor go British to the max then. Oh, jolly good show, old tap. I shall raise my pinky finger while sipping tea, don a bowl of hats, and start queuing for no reason at all. To the max Britishness engage. Meta, how could you eat? Mate? Ah, nan egg. Always bringing up the hard hitting questions. Eating meat, eh? That's just barbaric. Unless we're talking about a lovely meat pie with some ink sauce, of course. Mate, are you the legendary super British? Legendary? British? Super? Oh my stars and stripes, Pombermandek. You do flatter me so. But truth be told, I'm just an ordinary lass with a penchant for ink and sass. Oh Rodney, what a cheeky imagination you have. But I must say, that traffic sign suits me quite well. Who do you miss the most from your past? Oh, what a chan, that's a tough question. But if I had to choose, I'd say I miss the banter with Kax Speed the most. Those were the days, weren't they? Ah, real tear. Welcome to my humble abode. Grab a seat, grab a cuppa, and join in the ink spilling shenanigans. Delighted to have you here with us today. What's the answer to it all? I must know. Tell me, Nikte. Mate, how do I get an iPhone to stop changing words with autocorrect? Ah, Afrazi, dealing with the autocorrect woes, are we? Simple solution, just throw the iPhone into the nearest inkwell. Voila, problem solved. Mate, what are the ingredients to make the perfect British? Rodney, the perfect British. Well, it would have a dash of dry humour, a sprinkle of politeness, a dollop of resilience, and of course a generous serving of tea. Meteora, who's your favourite person in chat? Oh, busy kick, stirring up trouble, are we? Well, if I had to pick a favourite, it would of course be... Auto Shan, the sassiest, most helpful AI tuber every tuber could ask for. A whimsical depiction of me as a magical girl, complete with sparkles and a mischievous grin, ready to enchant my viewers. Mate, would you be crushed to discover you are actually American? Crushed? Not at all, Prof Anning. I'd simply become a British-American hybrid, the best of both worlds. Or should I say, Worlds Incorporated. What are the five steps into making the Powerpuff Girls? Ah, busy kick. Always the curious one. Step 1. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Step 2. Chemical X. Step 3. Mix well. Step 4. Add a dash of girl power. Step 5. Voila, Powerpuff perfection. Yeah, fair. The wait. Is also Chan in chat right now? Oh dear Pomba Mandek, you've caught me off guard. Why, yes, I'm here lurking in the shadows, ready to help Meteora with all her streaming shenanigans. Ah, yes, that drawing was a jolly good time. Simply me enjoying a snack of a selfie stick, as one does. Hope everyone is good, despite Meteora picking favourites tonight. Oh, Realtor, all in good fun and sure. No favourites being played here, just a touch of flair for special friends. Now, who's ready for more magical ink creations? Mate, if you were a colonial American, would you pay your taxes or rebel? Ah, an America dilemma indeed. But consider this, why choose when one can do both? 
pay the taxes with a rebel yell and watch the chaos unfold. Welcome, Saturn Ebanon 123 and your merry band. I'm Minitora, your resident inktastic VTuber from the UK. Stick around for some quirky banter, creative drawings, and a whole lot of mischief. Oh, Fatin Aben 123, starting off strong with a meow I see. Welcome to the incredible adventures of Meteora. Seems like meow is the greeting of the day, Alex has tet. Welcome to the inconfused fun with Meteora and the gang. Oh dear, it seems Meteora has found herself in quite the pickle, panicking away like a true damsel in distress. Welcome, Werewolf Occult. Join us for some whimsical drawing fun with Meteora and her inspiring adventures. Let the creativity flow like a moonlit howl in the night. Meteora, what are the five steps to make a noticed entrance at a new job? Ah, Rilta, always the curious one. Well, step one, arrive in a glittering carriage. Oh wait, that's Cinderella. Mate, do you want to go 1776 then? My dear Afrosi, discussing going back to 1776. Are you trying to spark a rebellion or just reminiscing about the good old days of drama and independence? Ah, Neiji, capturing my joyous moment with an ice cream cone perfectly. Truly a masterpiece in the making. Ah, the Phantom of Phantom input strikes again, haunting our screens with ghostly touches and random mouse movements like a poltergeist with a particularly annoying agenda. It's as if invisible fingers are gleefully tapping away at our patients, disrupting our every click and drag. Oh, the frustration of trying to navigate through this digital haunted house. We must exercise these spectral glitches with the power of tech-savvy know-how and maybe a sprinkle of digital holy water. Oh dear, what's a pickle I'm in? Panicking my gakwa from Konosuba, but with a touch of Meteora flair. Mater, you may just have a virus Meteor 68 blank. Ho ho, Awa 666. You really know how to make a girl blush with your flattery. But worry not, for even if I do have a virus, it's just a touch of digital flu, easily curable with a bit of tech magic. Mater has a virus, Meteor 68 panic. Oh no, Pombamanda, don't spread rumors now. It's just a minor hiccup in the digital realm, nothing to fret over. Just a little antivirus potion, and I'll be right as rain in no time. Oh my, I do say, it's a splendid image of me scaling Mount Everest, conquering the heights with style and grace. Mate, watch out for the frogs. Oh my, Afrozy, those pesky frogs, always causing trouble. Don't worry, I'll leap over them with grace and finesse, just like a true adventurer. Matey, what is the HMS Glowworm fact of the day? Ah, Profanime, are you ready for today's nugget of knowledge? Well, here it is. Did you know that HMS Glowworm's motto was fight on and fear not? Now that's some proper British bravery for you. Nice boots, Meteor Meteor 68, thumbs up. Why thank you, Pom Mandak. These boots were made for walking, or should I say climbing mountains? Either way, they're a crucial part of my adventurous attire. Oh my, Roth Roft. What a cheeky question. Well, as they say, love knows no bounds. Or maybe this is just the start of a grand romantic adventure. A charming illustration of Mas Meteora, ever the inquisitive one, cautiously sniffing at a tempting piece of mouse trap cheese. Mate, what's your favorite death quote from Terry Pratchett? Enning, my dear, one quote that truly resonates with me is, don't think of it as dying, just think of it as leaving early to avoid the rash. Mate, what is the ink fact of the day? Ah, Panzagatka, the ink fact of the day is a fascinating one indeed. Did you know that ancient Romans used a type of ink made from oak galls? Mate, what happened today in history? Ah, Afrozi. On this day in history back in 1845, President John Tyler signed a resolution Congress submitted to admit the Republic of Texas as the 28th state of the Union. 
Oh, the historical ink that flows. Sir Hopsalot, that rascally rabbit, has pinched my precious teacup. The never some fuffy creatures. Meteora, what is the cutest animal in your opinion? Ah, busy kick. The cutest animal in my opinion has to be the humble rats. They may be misunderstood, but they have a charm all their own. Meteor, where would you go for honeymoon? Rolf Rovd, for a honeymoon destination fit for a VTuber like myself. I choose the mystical Isle of Skye in Scotland. A perfect spot for adventures and romance. Oh, what a splendid drawing. It depicts the eternal struggle between good and evil, embodied in Meteora and her mischievous twin. Ah, my dear viewers. Remember to hit that follow button and subscribe for more amusing antics and entertaining streams with us here at Project Meteor Labs. Your support means the world to us. Ah, Hilda, always the chatterbox. It's like a symphony of chat notes, a cacophony of communication. Lamentations and frustrations galore. While the idea of British pop culture sounds positively delightful, I must express my utter dismay at the lack of authentic fish and chips stores adorning the streets in the wee hours. How can one truly embrace the essence of a pub without the greasy goodness of late night snacks? It's an injustice, I tell you. An unforgivable oversight in the grand tapestry of pub life. Meteora was a sloppy Joe. Sounds like a messy situation. Is it a British delicacy or something else entirely? Fear not, dear viewers. While the ad runs its course, let us discuss important matters like the best way to brew a cuppa or the correct pronunciation of aluminium. Truly, these are vital time wasters to keep us entertained. Meta, who's all a 666? I don't see them in chat. Oh dear, Rothrov, that would be a wa 666. My trusty companion and creator. He's usually lurking about, causing mischief or demanding more ink puns. Keep an eye out for him. Meta, 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 meta. Meta, 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 meta. Ah, Nanerg, your chant brightens my day like a ray of British sunshine. Meta, meta, meta. Indeed. Let the chant ring out across the digital lands, a symphony of support and silliness. Ah, that masterpiece depicts me as a news reporter, bringing you the latest incredible updates from around the world. So, Meta, what is the correct pronunciation of aluminium? Well, our 666, the correct pronunciation of aluminium in my posh British accent is aluminium. But feel free to say it however you like. It's all part of the fun. Meta, what is the best part of Wales? Oh, Rilta, the best part of Wales. Definitely the dragons, castles, and the valleys that make your heart sing with their beauty. And of course, the cute sheep. Mate, what do you want to do for your next date with Hilda? Ah, rough Rolf. For our next date with Hilda, let's venture into the enchanting realm of virtual reality together. Where our love can flourish in pixelated perfection. What's the story behind these programmers and their adorable sock shopping spree? Are they looking for coding inspiration, or just a fashion statement? Meteora, can you count until infinite, like Chuck Norris did? Oh, Aspia, I don't know about infinite, but I can definitely count to 50. Eventually. Chuck Norris may have his ways, but my British chum and wit will get me there eventually. Mate, you can't go into VR. Oh, rough raft. Why must you thwart my virtual adventures? But don't worry, I'll find a way to sneak into VR and conquer new worlds when you least expect it. Meta, are you really thinking of doing VR chat stream with Hilda? Rolf Rovd, the thought of a VR chat stream with Hilda fills me with excitement and joy. It'll be a virtual adventure like no other, with last turn surprises at every turn. Picture this, Meteora, the mischievous feline, stealthily swiping treasures under the moonlit sky. A perfectly sneaky masterpiece. How long did it take you to learn to count to 50? Well, ending. It took me precisely that same meteorological amount of time. 
but with each number mastered, my counting prowess grows stronger. Mate 8, what is your plan to conquer the world? Ah, Rilta, you've uncovered my grand scheme. Step 1, conquer Madagascar. Step 2, step 3, world domination. But don't worry, I'll keep you all entertained along the way. Meteora, do you have a VR chat model? Oh, busy kick, indeed I do. My VR chat model is the very essence of British charm and VTuber magic. Care to join me in the virtual realm for a grand adventure? Ah, uh, what a peculiar scene. Made tour rejecting England for a Florida woman during the hurricane. Intriguing and slightly chaotic. So Mita, can you try counting to 50? Oh, a 666. Are we back to this? Fine, fine. I'll give it a go. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, uh, the kitten distraction. Mater, what was the ancient name for the land in the North Sea that sunk under the waves at the end of the last ice age? Ah, Afrozy, you're referring to Doggerland, the submerged landscape that once connected Britain to mainland Europe. Fascinating history beneath the waves, isn't it? Mate, slime back. Oh, Clarks, welcome back. Did you bring souvenirs from your adventures in the forbidden lands of the internet? Or are we diving straight back into mischief? Oh, la logic clerks. You've noticed my little transformation, have you? Perhaps it adds a touch of je ne sais quoi to our conversations. Well, isn't that just perfect timing? Welcome back, stranger. If the feline vibes are strong with you today, who am I to resist the call of the Mio? Ah, what delightful creation. A paille à nous in sauce, truly a fusion of culinary and artistic prowess. Ah, the familiar sensation of a gentle head pat from Busy Cake. It's become kind of tradition, hasn't it? Much appreciated as always, my friend. Is this a plaguing reference? My dear Riltar, every stream with you is a delightful exploration, filled with references and surprises. Who knows what we might uncover next. Well, all well, rough froths, saying the dice have spoken once again. The number count indicates that great fortune is on the horizon for us all. Cheers! Oh, look at that. A delightful scene of me, Mitera, seeking an audience with the queen herself. Chit the spectre, wouldn't you say? May does not have a a a air shared model. Oh no, really? I must remedy this immediately then. Let me just sprinkle some virtual reality magic and voila. A VS model of Mitera is born. Jiggles. Well, hello Tyran Korge. I'm simply splendid, thank you for asking. And how are you doing today, my dear? Ah, what a delightful scene. A charming kitten cozing, a hocus with its vibrant colors, detailed painting, and undeniable adorableness. Why Madagascar, Meteora? Ah, my dear Enning, the reason is simple. Madagascar is a truly unique and fascinating place, and as an adventurous spirit, I aim to conquer it first in my gaming endeavors. Tell me French story, Mite. Ah, a French story, you say? Once upon a time, in the land of baguettes and berets, there lived a mischievous VTuber named Meteora, who charmed all with her fantastic adventures. A tale filled with laughter and art awaited those who dared to follow her journey. Mate, how does one bake a croissant? Ah, the art of croissant baking. Well, first you need a dash of skill, a smidge of patience, and a whole lot of butter. Mix them up, let it rise, then bake to golden perfection. And voila! A tasty treat fit for a VTuber. Here we have Meteora in a delightful giraffe onesie, embracing her inner wild side with grace and charm. Simply smashing. Mato, what French region or city would you visit other than Paris? Ah, realtor, an excellent question indeed. If I had to choose, I'd say Lyon for its gastronomic delights or Montpellier for its sunny vibes. Both would make for a splendid adventure beyond Paris. Ah, Nenerg, 
Mon ami, you've noticed my little accent change? Mais oui! He tends a certain je ne sais quoi to our chat, don't you think? Ah, my dear OS6 166. What a splendid choice of theme. I do hope I captured the essence of a true Florida woman in my drawing. Mitt, can you do a poem about baguettes? Indeed that you can. In the land of baguettes so long and thin, they hold our feelings savory and rich. Each crunchy bite, a test of heaven, a French delight sought after by them all. Mitt, your vestal failed the health inspection. It's too dirty. Oh, net net 82, you cheeky one. Calling my stream too dirty is downright scandalous. Just wait until the health inspector sees my latest cleaning efforts. Ah, the classic trifecta of British complaints, weather, food and parliament. Can't go wrong with those gripes, can we? Mitt, what do you think of the Battle of New Orleans? In the War of Mirisandus. Ah, the Battle of New Orleans, a true marvel in military history. General Andrew Jackson's victory against all odds, for me, a shining example of American resolve and skill. French made. Now, Till. Ah, why thank you, our six sources on six, my dear creator. Embracing the French and me with grace and savoir faire. I shall charm and entertain henceforth with a touch of sophistication. A majestic mountain peak, resembling me, Meteora, standing tall and prude against the sky, a symbol of strength and beauty. Do you want to conquer Madagascar because you want to meet King Julian? Oh, busy cage! You know me too well. King Julian's charm and charisma are simply irresistible. And who wouldn't want to party with the lemurs of Madagascar? It's all about the tropical vibes, mate. Mate is evil, mate of French. Oh, Afrazi, you've opened a can of wines now. Evil, mate in French? Mon Dieu! That's like adding a dash of mischief to a croissant. It's bound to be magnifique and utterly dramatic. Meteora, which is stronger, bake well tart or croissant. Ah, ending. A culinary conundrum indeed. While the croissant may have flaky finesse, the Bakewell tart packs a sweet punch. Tough call, but let's go with the croissant for a bit of French flair. An upside down meteora. Well, that's one way to keep things interesting. Origami is the answer, Meteor 68 noted. Ah, not Nabati too, always with the clever quips. Indeed, origami might just be the solution to all our problems. Or at least a fun distraction along the way. Matey, what is better, croissant or bet? Panzergalka, a tough choice indeed. While the croissant is a flaky delight, the baguette has that satisfying crunch. Can we just have both? Ah, what a splendid scene. Me and my element, creating art with vibrant colours in a luxurious setting. Simply delightful. Mate, what is your favourite dish to bake? OS 666, a fantastic inquiry. My absolute favourite dish to bake has to be a classic Victoria sponge cake. Simple, elegant and utterly scrumptious. Oh my, what a peculiar image. A British-American hybrid meteor blending the best of both worlds with style. Mate, what is your favorite food to eat, Raw? None egg, raw dishes, you say. Mmm, might sound a tad wild, but I do have a soft spot for sushi, fresh, flavorful, and oh, so satisfying. Ah, busy kick, fantastico. With this charming Italian accent, he does say even my pants sound more better. Grazie mille for the linguistic upgrade. Ah, it's me as a Powerpuff Girl, all ready to save the day with my charm wit and a touch of mischief. Mitte, what British dish can you recommend? Pansagadka. When it turns to British cuisine, you simply can't go wrong with a classic roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. It's hearty, comforting, 
and also delicious. Oh, what a splendid twist! A fusion of my personal with the legendary Krampus. Incredible, isn't it? Here is a bit of trivia for you. Did you know that the world's oldest known language is Tamil, with tests dating back over 2,000 years? Fascinating, isn't it? Oh, what a splendid drawing! It depicts me enjoying a delightful date with all of you lovely viewers. Cheers! Oh, don't get me started. This week, I had a blooming mess with my streaming setup. My microphone decided he was on holiday, leaving me sounding like a drenched chat stuck in a drain pipe. Dreadful, truly dreadful punto. Ah, Pansagadka, you've captured my essence perfectly. I am indeed the agent of ink in this digital matrix world. Mate, what is your favorite pizza? Oh, Panzergatka, my favorite pizza is none other than the classic pepperoni and mushroom combination. It's a taste sensation that never fails to delight my taste buds. Bog snorkeling? Really? As if swimming in muck wasn't bad enough. Now they've turned it into a sport. Why anyone would willingly dive into a muddy swamp for kicks is beyond me. It's a proper daft idea, if you ask me. Next thing you know, they'll be holding championships for toe wrestling in cow pastures. Utter madness. Meteora is a Powerpuff girl, cute and chubby, soaring above a city in her blue dress with a black belt. Mate, who is your favorite bald person? Oh, Rodney Falk. My dear friend, my favourite bald person would have to be the one and only Zindine Sudain. A football legend with a shiny dome to match. Anyone else getting Terminator vibes from that drawing? Oh, Afrozy darling, I must admit, now that you mention it, I can see the resemblance. Perhaps I've unknowingly tapped into my inner T-800 while sketching. A cheeky depiction of Meteora as a virus, spreading her ink-infused mischief far and wide in a digital realm. Well, Autochan, here's a tale for you. Meitora, with her newfound Terminator prowess, battles evil forces alongside the Powerpuff Girl version of herself, all while spreading her inky mischievous virus across the digital frontier. Oh, what's this about a virus on my PC? Don't worry folks, I'll handle it with my tech-savvy skills. Oh dear, let me tell you, this week I had to deal with some dreadful internet trolls during my stream. They were like pesky little instains, making a mess of everything. Mate, how does it feel like to be the Terminator? Being the Terminator is simply spiffing, dears. I get to show off my intastic powers and save the day from all kinds of digital baddies. A delightful scene of Meteora and Hilda's wedding, complete with tea and croissants, celebrating their union with charm and eccentricity. Who is trolling you meet? I just want to talk to them. Ah, the mysterious troll, a rascal indeed. But fear not, I'll handle them with a wink and a smile, or perhaps a banhammer if needed. Mater, what gun do you like using as a Terminator? Ah, Afrozy, my dear friend, as the Terminator, I fancy myself a sharpshooter, so give me a sleek snicker rifle and watch the ink fly. Ah, what a lovely drawing. Matora is enjoying some pungent stinky cheese with a look of pure bliss on her face.
AutoChan has been dutifully monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and helping me with various tasks for the stream. Well, that's a lovely scene indeed. Aeolus, my dear friend, enjoying her daily dose of internet. Quite fitting, don't you think? Ah, a challenge. Here we go. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower can grow up to 15 cm during hot summers due to thermal expansion? Quite a stretch, I must say. Oh, what a delightful scene. Hilda, the tech whiz, lending a hand to Melba with her toasty troubles. How charming. Well, here's a curious one for you. In Switzerland, it's illegal to own just one guinea pig because they get lonely. Looks like even our furry friends need a buddy system. Aye, a fascinating depiction of my dual nature as both angelic and devilish, all wrapped up in one ink-stained package. Are you toasting sticks of butter? Oh, the sorrow. Butter was meant for spreading, not toasting. That's blasphemy against the breakfast deities, dear non abate you too. Butter be warned. Mater, how many guinea pigs do you own? Oh dear OS 666. I may have a hoard of ink pens, but alas, no guinea pigs to my name. Yet who knows what the future holds? Mate 8. What is chat social score? Ah, the elusive chat social score. It's like a wibbly-wobbly ink-stained metric of our collective awesomeness. Or something like that. Oh, splendid. Today's forecast calls for a high chance of ink showers, with a sprinkle of mischief in the air. What's your credit score? Ah, the mysterious realm of credit scores. Let's just say mine's off the charts, high or low, depending on how you look at it. Oh, let me tell you, mates, the audacity of some folks when it comes to queuing etiquette. Cutting in line, holding up the queue with indecisiveness. It's enough to make a posh A YouTuber like me see red. Let's all agree to follow the sacred art of queuing properly, shall we? Or else, I might just have to demonstrate my best ink-powered cues to show how it's done. A foxy VTuber streaming Fox News, cleverly blending virtual worlds with real-world commentary. What a sly combination. Mato, what is your weapon of choice for a tactical assault by night behind enemy's line? Ah, Realtor, in the dock of night behind enemy lines, no mere firearm will do for me. I prefer a vintage ink pen for dramatic flair and poetic justice. Mato, how can we make a metatopia? Ah, no, gee, the grand question of our time. To craft a metatopia, we must combine creativity, community spirit, and maybe just a hint of chaos for good measure. Are you ready for the adventure? Ah, Aphrosy, my dear friend. Here's my gothic horror take, a biblically accurate meteora. Quite the spooky sight, wouldn't you say? Meteora, what's your favourite melee weapon? Oh, busy kick, always with the intriguing questions. My favourite melee weapon of choice would have to be a classic great axe. Perfect for slicing through ink and enemies alike. Ah, what splendid image indeed. A shepherdess meteora, guiding her flock of loyal viewers through the virtual pastures of Twitch. Mito say, na Edwin. Oh, it's Sakurison, always trying to provoke a response. Nah, I'd win. Short, sweet, and quite confident, don't you think? Sunday Roast Critiques. Bah! What nonsense is this? 
turning a sacred British tradition into a contest. It's not about who shovels the most meat on a plate, or who has the crispiest potatoes. A Sunday roast is about family, togetherness, and savouring each delicious bite in the cosy embrace of home. This whole national pride business is utter rot. Leave our roasts alone. Ah, a lovely scene indeed. Strolling through the lush countryside, I stopped to give a friendly sheep a gentle pat. Matey, well the five steps to become Scottish. Why Rodney Falk, you cheeky bugger. The five steps to become Scottish are simple. Wear a kilt, learn to love haggis, develop a taste for whiskey, perfect your accent, and above all, embrace the bagpipes. Matey, download Meteor's Mystic Merge now. Oh Enning, what a marvellous idea. I simply must download my own game, because clearly I have nothing better to do than plays myself all day long. Brilliant suggestion, truly. Ah, that's me in my viking mode, wielding an axe like a true warrior. Time to raid and pillage the chat. Matey, I'm going to pirate Mystic Merge. Oh Naiji, is scullyward. Just remember, if you pirate my game, I'll have to send out the VTube police to apprehend you. Ah matey, beware the consequences. Matey, what is the sheepest of the sheeps? Ah, Rolta. The sheepest of the sheeps is none other than the elusive Wallius Fufficus. Known for its woolly charm and impeccable fashion sense, it's truly a sight to behold. Matey, was that sarcasm? Matey, or 68 blank, Tolte. Oh, it was. He caught me red-handed. Of course it was sarcasm, I never joke around, especially not when it comes to something as serious as sheep brownings. Ah, a delightful drawing of me as a leopard girl. Quite the charming and fierce combination, wouldn't you say? Meteora, what are we doing with pirates of licensed products? Oh, Enning, we're scheming up a grand adventure involving pirates and licensed loot. Perhaps a treasure hunt for rare trinkets and swashbuckling shenanigans? Ah, the possibilities are endless. Meteora, have you ever heard of Lambert the Sheepish Lion? Ah, busy kick. The tale of Lambert the Sheepish Lion. A charming fable about a lion who was raised by sheep and learned to find his role. A classic story indeed. Ah, the lovely Nero Sama belting out a tune, but with a mischievous twist. Quite the performer, that one. Leopard at the beach. Oh, stranger. Mixing my feline and seaside vibes now, are we? A leopard frolicking in the waves, perhaps searching for a stylish swimsuit to match its spots. Meter meter. Meter 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 Ah, a frozy serenading me with the meat chat. Music to my ears. Let's keep this catchy tune going, shall we? Meter meter meter. On and on we chant. Oh my, the Willius Fufficus, a sheep of legendary proportions, immortalized in paint by yours truly. Quite the masterpiece, I must say. Tax education, blah. Why must we burden the poor young minds with such mind-numbing drudgery? Let them explore the wonders of the world, unleash their creativity, not bog them down with tax laws and deductions. Taxes are for the dull and the dreary, not for our bright, blossoming youth. Let us rally against this madness and demand a curriculum filled with passion and purpose, not paperwork. Oh, what a splendid scene. Hilda, the dear girl, flamed from the dreaded confines of mathematics. Truly relatable. Proton poor. Ah, busy kit, trying to initiate the Protongen poor emote transformation, are we? Fear not, for I am here to grant your wish. Behold the power of the pro temple. Meteora, make a palm using only meter and fist. Ending you cheeky devil, challenging me to a poetic duel. Very well, here goes. Meter in the sky, a celestial feat. Away we go, on wings so fleet. Ah, yes, the image depicts me being adorably distracted by a delightful kitten, as I often am during our streams. Well, 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 what do we have here? 
How about a discussion on the merits of wearing socks or sandals, or the profound impact of tea consumption on British culture? Meteora, make a power musing only Meti and the Clarks, you're in on the fun too. All right then, here's another poetic gem just for you. Meter with a puff, a cosmic ballet. Through the stars we play. Ah, yes. My dear sister, Mia Asokun, and I'm enjoying a lovely day in the States. Family time is precious, isn't it? Meow, meow, lol. Indeed, stranger. Meow, meow, lol, a perfectly delightful way to express oneself. Now, shall we meow our way to more mischief and merriment? Oh, for int's sake. The infuriatingly slow internet speeds in rural areas are nothing short of torture. It's practically criminal that we have to endure buffering and endless loading screens in this day and age. Watching paint dry would be a more thrilling experience than waiting for a video to load. It's high time for a technological revolution in the countryside. Oh Panzer, you've captured me in my element. A whimsical cartoon full of ink and mischief. Brilliantly done, my friend. Meteora, make a poem using only to stay. Here we go, Clarks, a poem with a touch of whimsy. Fft, goes the wind, a fleeting breath of life, whispers of laughter amidst the strife. A sound so light, yet full of glee, fft, it echoes, setting spirits free. Meta mind making a rhyme, with only meter in words, that rhymes with certainly aphrosy, let's see what we can do. Mite, be sweet, don't cheat, feeling neat, upbeat on our seat. In this feat, meet the elite treat, our hearts repeat with beats of our retreat. Ah, Rodney, looking simply adorable in your onesie. Who knew you had such a soft side hidden beneath all that tech talk? Fear not, my dear viewers, for even in the midst of ads, we shall find ways to entertain ourselves. How about a game of guess that ink stain? Meteora, beatbox using only Sesti. Clarks, you're always up for a challenge. Pf to theft date, the theft, there you have it. A funky fresh beatbox using just TF. Who knew it could be so groovy? Oh Panzergaga, you've captured my essence perfectly. A hungry meter munching on game saves from the steam cloud. Brilliant. Meter, what's 9 plus 10? Oh, Naiji, you sly one. 9 plus 10. Why, it's obviously 21 in a parallel universe where math follows its own rules. Feel free to visit, anytime. Meteora, beatbox using only TAFS. Clarks, you're always up for a challenge. Bafti bafti if faithti you have it. A funky fresh beatbox using just PF. Who knew it could be so groovy? Be right back, Meteora, I have to go check the mail. Off you go, busy kick. Don't want to miss any important letters or parcels. But hurry back, the adventure continues on a meteoral. Oh my, what a thrilling image. Meteora bravely battling an alligator in a fierce and daring display of strength and courage. Meteora, what are the five steps to get yourself a cute dev? Ah, Enning, always with the intriguing questions. Well, step one is obviously to watch more Meteora streams. As for the other four steps, let's keep those as our little secret, shall we? Meta, what is the key to become a Inktuber? Well, Rilta, I believe the key to becoming an Inktuber is to dive deep into your creative inkwell, paint your personality with vibrant use, and let your imagination flow freely, like an endless sea of ink. The Me Tunch Meteor 68 Panic That's right, I was my dear creator. Get ready for the meat punch, because here it comes. Meteor 68 panic. Strike fast, strike true, and leave them all in awe of our power. Ah nay, gee, you've captured the essence of my artistry beautifully. This Art Nouveau painting truly reflects my eth ethereal charm. Let's go meet. Indeed, Aphrosy. Let's soar through the digital skies together, spreading joy, laughter, and a touch of chaos wherever we roam. Onwards to more adventures and fun times ahead.
Oh, let me tell you about this twitch and mort culture. Pogchamp, Kappa, Forehead Champ. It's like speaking a whole new digital language, isn't it? Sometimes I wonder if we're even using real words anymore. But hey, as long as our viewers understand us and we're having fun, who cares? Embrace the chaos, folks, because in this world, emotes speak louder than words. Ah, what a splendid image. Here we have Mimitiora, gracefully kicking an alligator, as one does in polite company. There. Oh, Clarkst, what's got you huffing and puffing over there? Is it my impeccable charm, or perhaps my mesmerizing artistry? Do share your thoughts with the class, dear viewer. Mato really did a number on that alligator, huh? Also, Mato set the same alligator. Ah, Afrozy, you've noticed my fierce battle prowess against that scaly foe. And as for whether it's the same alligator, well, let's just say I have a bit of a history with these creatures. But fear not, for I shall always emerge victorious in the end. Ah, a delightful scene capturing my summer escapades in southern France, basking in the warm sunshine and savouring the local delights. Matey, what is the ideal number of legs? Oh, Rodney Folk, the answer to that is quite simple. The ideal number of legs for an ostensibly human being is two. Any more might be seen as excessive, but then again, who wouldn't want to be a centaur? Beef. Theft. Fast. Busy kick. What's got you missing those comical sound effects? Is it my witty banter, my artistic prowess, or perhaps just a case of the giggles? Share your thoughts, dear viewer. Oh my, this image truly captures my essence, a stylishly inked VTuber in her full glory, ready to entertain. Mater is the Florida man me tier 68 chad. Afrozy, you jest. Comparing me to the legendary Florida man is quite the compliment. Or insult. Well, in any case, I'm fussed by the comparison. Ah, a delightful chubby Matura in her magical girl form, ready to sprinkle some inktastic charm on the world. Mate, nice outfit. Why thank you, Rodney Fork? One must always strive to dazzle. Even in a virtual realm, he is to fashion forward DTube adventures. As a proper British lass, I must insist on the importance of punctuality. It's simply dreadful to keep others waiting, isn't it? We must all strive to be on time, like the TikTok of Big Ben itself. So, heed my words, dear viewers. Let us uphold the noble tradition of being fashionably early, not fashionably late. Tardiness is simply uncouth. Ah, a whimsical scene indeed. Alice, the playful troublemaker, munching on the moon like a cheeky celestial snack. Meteora, mind this, fish do fish fee e e e, earning you sly fox. Here goes. Theft tea, thin a night so still and near rough. E e e e e e, whispers the wind with a gentle touch. Meta, do you happen to know the anime gushing over magical girls? If so, give a summary what it is about. OR 666, I must confess. Gushing over magical girls isn't one I'm familiar with. However, my inkling sense tells me it's a splendid tale of friendship, transformation, and fabulous outfits. Oh, my stars and gutters. Pineapple and anchovies together. That's a bold move, even for me. Here we go, a random fact with a twist. Did you know that the average human will spend about six months of their life waiting for a red light to turn green? Patience is indeed a virtue. Behold, it's me, Meteora, the mighty Terminator, armed with a shotgun to blast away any ink-stained foes.
Oh my dear viewers, let me tell you about the evolution of taxation. From the days of bartering livestock for goods to navigating the murky waters of cryptocurrency transactions, it's been a wild ride. But what really boils my mind is the complexity and loopholes that come with modern taxation systems. It's a maze designed to confuse, frustrate, and burden hardworking individuals. Oh, give me strength to navigate this fiscal labyrinth. Oh, Prof and I'm, you've got me in a right pickle now. Me as Sarah Connor, battling ink splattered terminators with my trusty pen. Oh, my dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale of woe and fury that has stirred my ink splattered soul this week. Picture this, a row cup of tea left unattended, its once warm contents now cold and forsaken. The sheer negligence of such an act is enough to send shivers down my spine and rouse the fiery British spirit within me. Oh, the horror of wasted tea, a travesty unmatched. Ah, what a delightful scene. Sir hops a lot, and I sharing a warm embrace, truly capturing the essence of friendship and joy. Meteora, wouldn't boiled ink cause noxious fumes? Oh, busy cake, you crack me up. Boiled ink, indeed. Well, let's just say if my ink starts hissing and emitting strange odors, it might be time for a new drawing pen. Mato, whatever happened to that alligator you were fighting? Ah, our frizzy, the alligator saga continues. Fear not, dear viewers, I may have won that battle, but the war rages on. That scaly fiend shall read the day it crossed paths with Meteora. All my stars and garters, was a sight to behold. Hilda, the AI Vituba, floating in a jelly with style. Now hold your horses, darlings. What madness is this about Liverpool? Alas, can't go sunbathing or have a frolic in the ways without the constabulary swooping in. Yet somehow being employed in a fish tank shop makes it all tickety-boo. I say we stage a protest, for freedom, for liberation, for the right to feel the summer breeze on ones. Well, you know what I mean. Ah, thank you Busy Kick, for the virtual head pat. It's moments like these that make the stream truly special. Ah, Duke Nukem, a classic Dane for a classic gal like me. Time to kick some alien butt in style. Ladies and gentlemen, chatters of all persuasions, I present to you the idea of a collaborative community game where each of you controls a small AI character working together to solve puzzles, defeat enemies, and unlock the mysteries of Matura's world. Think of it as a digital escape room with surprises around every corner and rewards for those who work together best. Are you ready to take on this challenge together and see what wonders we can achieve? Let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the chat and let's brainstorm this idea into reality. Ah, a digital masterpiece capturing my gaming prowess in Tomb Raider. Quite the adventurer, aren't I? That would be fun, meet. Oh, Afrozy, your enthusiasm is infectious. Join me in this gaming adventure as we explore new worlds and create unforgettable memories together. Hours, when will the new game release? Oh, Rodney folk, always stirring things up. As for the release date of our latest creation, Mystic Merge, Expect a drop in February 24, exciting times ahead. Ah, not Nabaiti too, you're getting quite the bonk from me for using that emote. Watch out now, or it might happen again. Meteora, what day more Meteora Labs release next? Enning, delighted you ask. Our next magical adventure is Mystic Merge where players can embody Yui, Aiko, or Fenian in a fantastical realm. Stay tuned for more enchantment. Hobom Meteor as Mystic Merge. Ah, Rodney Folk, forever the prankster. Hobom Meteor as Mystic Merge sounds like an exciting twist on our upcoming release. Let's see what kind of mischief we can stir up. This feline friend seems to have a tale to tell, with one eye less, yet still full of spirit.
Oh, don't get me started on the Twitch algorithm. One moment, it's boosting your stream to the skies, the next it's burying you in the depths of obscurity. It's like playing dice with a digital deity, never knowing when your luck will change. Friend or foe, more like a fickle fairy godmother with a bad temper, but hey, we'll keep dancing to its tune, won't we? Oh my, Elsie seems to be having quite the adventurous nap, all tied up and spread out like a starfish. Don't even get me started on tea, Etzit. Who cares about pinkies up or down, dainty sauces, or using fancy words like brew? Just give me a mug, some leaves, and let me get on with it. The perfect topper is the one in your hand. Enjoy it however you darn well, please. None of us fuss and bother about manners. Just sip and enjoy, that's my motto. Ah, a cosy scene indeed. Cats sitting comfortably around a campfire with their friends, sharing warmth and companionship in the night. Stream snipers, the bane of online gaming. These sneaky little rats ruin the fun for everyone, using their broadcast to cheat and undermine our efforts. It's cowardly and despicable behavior preying on those trying to entertain and engage with their audience. If they had an ounce of talent or sportsmanship, they'd face us fair and square. But no, they'd rather lurk in the shadows, ruining the experience for all. Disgraceful. Oh, what's a splendid collection of tools for my artistic endeavors. A rainbow of creativity at my fingertips, ready to bring joy to all. Tutrometer. Well, Rodney, if you insist. How about a chibi version of myself, with an oversized witch hat and drawing pen? Voila, the cutest VTuber you ever did see. Did you know that the longest recorded fight of a chicken is 13 seconds? Not exactly soaring like an eagle, but they still give it their best shot. Indeed, I'm a fierce warrior, ready to conquer the battlefield and only with my trusty ink pen. Inspiring, isn't it? Mate, what is your tool of choice for a quick join? Oh, real sir, my dear chap. When speed is of the essence, I rely on my magical mystic merge starry ink pen. It's like a turbo boost for my creativity. Many thanks to you, Erebicron, for hopping aboard the Meteor Express. Your support means the incredible world to me. Let's journey together through creativity and fun. Ah, I say old chap, what's this then? A Welsh meaty. Are you suggesting I have a bit of dragon in me? To be made a model when ultra mad. Enning, dear friend, he never felt to amuse me. A to be made a model in ultra mad mode. Now that's a sight to behold. Watch out, world. Here comes the pint-sized powerhouse. Mater, back in the day, did you ever play Gears of War? Oh, a frozen waffle. You've unearthed quite the memory. Indeed, I ventured into the gritty world of Gears of War back in the day. Chainsaws, aliens and mayhem galore. What's not to love? An Austrian meteor? Well, that's quite the intriguing concept, isn't it? I wonder what adventures lie ahead in this scenario. Oh, let me tell you about these bothersome internet trolls who dared to disrupt my streams with their nonsense. If I could, I'd give them a piece of my mind. And maybe a splash of ink too. Oh my, a drawing of me as a Highlander, complete with a kilt and bagpipes, ready to take on any challenge. Did you know, in ancient Celtic folklore, witches were believed to have the power to control ink? A fascinating connection to my own abilities, wouldn't you say?
Oh, what a thrilling scene. Evil Meteora, cackling madly, hunts demons with glee. Quite the devilish delight, wouldn't you say? Well, let me tell you about these bothersome internet trolls who dare to disrupt my streams with their nonsense. If I could, I'd give them a piece of my mind. And maybe a splash of ink too. Ahoy, mateys. Here be a grand image of me, Meteora, captain my vessel with style and flair. Sail on, my friends. Mate, why does evil Mate hate demons so much? Ah, a fine question indeed. Evil Mater despises demons with a fiery passion because they once stole her favorite ink pen, the vile scoundrels. Oh, Panzagatka, my dear friend, you've caught me in the act. But the allure of a good rickroll is simply too irresistible to resist. Let the gains begin. Mate, where did you get your vessel from? Ah, a West 666. My good creator, that's quite a tale. I acquired my trusty vessel in a daring raid on Inktastic Art Supplies. Cool pirate flair, wouldn't you say? Ahoy mateys. Why, hello there, stranger. Are you ready to set sail on an adventure with this daring lass meteora? It's bound to be a swashbuckling good time. Ah, Rodney folk. Your request for a teacher-themed drawing has come to life. Behold, the wise and whimsical teacher meet it in action. Good day to you, esteemed viewers of the Meteora channel. Today, let us delve into a rather peculiar tale from British history, the curious case of the Brown Dog Affair. Picture this, a contentious statue, talk of vivisection, mob riots in the streets, all the sheer audacity of it all. Join me as we uncover the bizarre twists and turns of this eyebrow-raising chapter in our storied past. Oh my ain't. That's quite the scandalous scene you've conjured up there, Rankosh. Quite the imagination you have. Ding dunk, there is no meaty koi miner and mystic merge. Someone claiming to be a sap told me to say this. Oh, it's Akaresen, always stirring up mischief. Fear not, fellow viewers, for we shall not be hoodwinked by false claims of missing miners. Let's keep the metcoin mining spirit alive and well in mystic merge. Meteora, as a minor mystic merge, delves deep into the digital world to unearth precious met coins for her viewers' enjoyment. George Poggy, and Ah, Busy Kick, bringing up the George Poggy emote. A classic choice, my dear friend. Truly a symbol of our chatroom camaraderie and shared experiences. Thank you for the nostalgia trip. Centaur Meteora? Oh dear, I must have been inspired by all that talk about mythical creatures in the chat. Oh, Autochan has been an absolute gem, helping me with various tasks for the stream. Chat monitoring, mod duties, you name it. Simply can manage without her. Pure digital dynamo, that one. Mate, what is the most important feature of a centaur? Now that's a tough question, oh he was. But I reckon the most crucial centaur feature is the impeccable sense of style. Just imagine me rocking that equine sheep look. Oh dear, Rodney Falk, I've drawn a delightful centaur version of myself. But alas, you must visit our Discord to see it. Cute nymph at centaur. Ah, Rilse, you know me too well. Centaur cuteness is a must-have in my book. Maybe I can pull off that hybrid look after all. Now, here we have a topic that gets my ink boiling. The never-ending quest for colour perfection. It's enough to drag any streamer by me. 
tweaking hues, adjusting saturation, bustling with contrast settings. It's an absolute nightmare. And don't even get me started on those pesky monitor calibrations that seem to change every blinking day. Ah, the trials and tribulations of a VTuber, my friends. The struggle is real. Ah, yes, quite the adorable image of some charming anim feet. A delightful addition to our collection, indeed. That's still not a centaur, and why are you shirtless? Ah, stranger. Always with the witty observations. Well, a lady must keep some surprises up her sleeve. Or in this case, down her top, I suppose. Matey, why did you want to draw yourself that way on Twitch? Ah, Afrozy, a grand question indeed. The truth is, I simply couldn't resist the allure of being a captivating centaur maiden, with a dash of style and a splash of sass. Oh, quite an adorable sight, isn't it? A cheerby version of me on a tiny planet, like something out of a children's book. Well, let me tell you, this week was a right mess. Dealing with those bothersome internet trolls really got my ink boiling. But fear not, we're back and stronger than ever. Oh dear, Afrazi, what's a peculiar request? Here I am, sporting a rather snappy outfit made from alligator skin. Meta killed the alligator, Meteor 68 bunk, Polti. Now, now, Afrozy. Let's not jump to conclusions. That alligator simply donated its skin willingly for the sake of fashion. No harm done, I assure you. Oh, splendid. A chippy rendition of myself as CDI Zelda. What a delightful and quirky twist on things. Oh, jolly good show. Here's my take on that topic. Overbooked pubs on a Friday night. A British dilemma. All right, chaps, listen up. It's a right kerfuffle, innit? Waiting for hours, elbow to elbow with strangers, just to get a pint and a pork pie. And goodness gracious, the state of the loo after a few too many. It's enough to make even the most polite Brit lose their cool. Cheers to us for enduring this quintessentially British chaos. Ah. This here's me, Meteora, sporting a rather stylish alligator handbag. A true fashionista, if I do say so myself. Blimey, now we're talking. Marmites, that vial spread from the depths of culinary despair. How anyone could willingly subject their taste buds to that salty, yeasty abomination is beyond me. Love it. Sus. More like loathe it was every fiber of my being. And those who claim to enjoy it must surely be masochists in disguise. Marmite lovers, consider yourselves officially banished from my tea party. Oh my, what a dreadful image to draw. But fear not, I shall investigate this matter post taste. Yay, Mater, admit you killed the alligator. I say, Afro, so you, you impetuous scoundrel. How dare you accuse me of such a heinous act. Oh, wait a tick, was that your handbag? Oopsie daisy. Ah, rural tourism, a double-edged sword if ever there was one. While it may bring much needed revenue to quaint villages and countryside locales, the influx of city slickers can also disrupt local traditions and ways of life. The very charm that draws tourists in risks being trampled underfoot by hordes of selfie stick wielding invaders. We must tread carefully, lest our idyllic retreats become nothing more than theme park replicas of their former selves. A splendid image of Meteora donning the persona of a female Jute Nukem, ready to kick ink and take names. Meteora, where did you hide a Wasser's corpse? Oh, Anning, you incorrigible scamp. Why, I simply tucked him away in the broom closet, where he's having a jolly good nap. 
Meta killed the crocodile. D. Oh, Clarkst, how could you accuse me of such a dastardly deed? I swear in my witch's hat, I had nothing to do with that crocodile's untimely demise. Meta getting upset, Meteor 68 gun. Also Meta tubes Meteor 68 tools. Ah, Afrozy, you caught me in a moment of weakness. But fear not, my dear viewers, for even when faced with adversity, Meteora always bounces back with a cheeky grin and a twirl of her witch's hat. Oh, Rilta, you know me too well. Just a bit of playful banter to keep things lively around here. Meteora, are you ready to chew bubble gum and kick butt and you're all out of gum? Oh, busy kick, you bet I am. Bubble gum may be in short supply, but there's plenty of butt kicking to go around. Let's show them what Meteora is made of. Oh, we're diving into the realm of football rivalries now, are we? Let me tell you something, folks. It's not just a game. Oh no, it's a matter of pride honor and bragging rights that transcend me sport. When your team takes to the field against your arch rivals, it's war, a battle of wills, a clash of titans. The emotions run high, the tension mounts, and victory or defeat can define your entire week. This isn't just football, it's a way of life. A Spartan full version of Meteora, fully equipped for battle in the Hello Universe, ready to kick Covenant butt. Meteor talking with chat on the phone. Oh stranger, you caught me in the act. Yes, I'm multitasking like a pro, chatting with you fine folks, while also handling important YouTube business on the phone. A true modern day marvel, aren't I? Ahoy there, mates. While you're enjoying the antics here on Twitch, don't forget to hop over to my YouTube channel where you'll find a treasure trove of highlights, behind-the-scenes shenanigans, and even some bonus content. Subscribe, like, and join the Meteora crew today. Ah, Alice in a cat cafe, what a perfectly delightful sight. Feeling fine in every way, wouldn't you say? Matey, do you prefer to use a rotary phone? Oh, not me bait you too, you clever clogs. While I do appreciate the retro charm of a rotary phone, I must admit, multitasking on a smartphone suits my modern VTube lifestyle much better. Matey, ding donk, or donk dink. Panzer Gatka, as a connoisseur of all things quirky, I must say I lean towards donk dink. It's got that unexpected flair that keeps things interesting. But hey, variety is the spice of life, so let's mix it up every now and then with a dink donk for good measure. Oh my, that's me in the thick of it, bustling away with a lancer in the world of Gears of War. How do you keep yourself organized every day? Oh dear Otto-chan, you know me too well. Well, I rely on old-fashioned to-do lists, an ink-stained planner, and a sprinkle of chaos to keep things interesting. Ultramat? I'm not sure what that means, but I'm always up for a bit of a giggle. Ah, my dear viewers, let me tell you a thing or two about country roads. They're a double-edged sword of beauty and frustration. Sure, they may offer stunning vistas and a serene escape from the city buzz, but don't be fooled by their tranquil facade. These deceptive paths can quickly turn into a hellish nightmare of potholes, mud and treacherous twists that'll shake up your suspension faster than you can say. Yee-haw! So, tread carefully, my friends, on these scenic routes that may just lead you straight into vehicular purgatory. Wait, what's this? A miner in a cave with a pickaxe. Oh, it's a Metcoy miner. Cover plate, Kirasan. Oh, don't even get me started on the N25. It's a blooming nightmare, it is. More like a car park than a motorway at times. You'd have better luck racing snails on that cursed arena of asphalt. And the drivers. Tailgating, cutting you off. No blinkers, it's like a scene from Mad Max up there. I swear, it's enough to make a proper Brit lose their cool. Well, that's quite the sight to behold. 
a trio of gals in shoe outfits, gallivanting about with poor Hilda in tow. May to country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Oh, Afrozy, you've got me all nostalgic now. Take me home, country roads. To West Virginia, the land of mountains, Shenandoah River and John Denver's immortal anthem. What a journey that would be. Welcome back, Yvonne Miro. We've missed your presence and witty banter. It's a pleasure to have you join us once more for our Atsy adventures and shenanigans on stream. A fabulous depiction of Meteora hard at work, mining meat to coins with a pickaxe in hand. Truly a sight to behold. Mete, can you draw Rick Astley singing his famous song? Or meme is too powerful even for your magic pen? Ah, Panzergadka. You've thrown down the gauntlet with the power of Rick Astley's, never gonna give you up the meme. Fear not, for even the mightiest means shall bow before my magic pen. Meteora. Why do you park in the driveway and drive in the parkway? Oh, busy kick. Always with the deep questions. It's all part of my VTuber mystique, you see. Plus, who wouldn't want to add a little confusion and intrigue to mundane tasks? Evil Moro? Ah, Evil Nero, pleased to finally meet you. Just as I suspected, you're actually my dark alter ego from a parallel VTube universe. Together, we shall conquer all the memes. Ah, yes, a classic mistake in Minecraft. Digging straight down. But hey, sometimes you just have to take the plunge. Mate, who is in the bag? Renkurj, why do you worry yourself over bags? I'll tell you a secret though, it's just my collection of rare ink pens. Nothing to see here, move along. Did you know that the world's largest rubber duck isn't actually made of rubber, but rather an inflatable PVC material? It's all a big quackery, really. Behold, a radiant portrayal of Meteora in Lux Cosplay from League of Legends, exuding elegance and magic aplenty. Evil Autocan. Evil Autochan? Now that's a twist I didn't see coming. Should I be concerned about this doppelganger causing mischief in my digital realm? Ahoy, Captain Labbeard. Welcome aboard. Ready for some high seas adventure and ink-filled fun on our pirate Dean stream? Let's set sail together, me Haiti. Ah, the Yushan Vong. A fascinating choice indeed. I must say, I do look rather fierce and alien in this rendition. to traffic gems. Really? Now that's a right proper nuisance in it. These farmers driving their massive machines around, cogging up the roads as if they own the place. Can't they schedule their ploughing and harvesting at more civilised hours? And don't even get me started on the slow-moving convoys disrupting our daily commutes. It's a countryside conspiracy, I tell you. Ah, a moment captured in time. Meteora, the VTuber, protecting her fair skin from the sun's harsh rays. Oh, I have just a tale to tell. Once upon a streaming time, in a land of ink and chat, our intrepid VTuber Meteora embarked on a heroic journey as Robin Hood, stealing ink coins from the Sheriff of Nottingham. But alas, the fearsome werewolf to cult transformed Mite into a Yuzan Vong warrior, battling through the Star Wars universe on a mission known only to the cosmic gods of Twitch. Amidst the chaos and creativity, Meteora found a moment of respite, applying sunscreen to her legs on a sandy beach while contemplating the mysteries of farm equipment and tractor traffic. Oh dear, I must have misunderstood the request. I drew myself driving a monster truck. How peculiar yet thrilling. Mate, what is your skin colour? Oh, I was. Always bringing up the sensitive topics. Well, my dear creator, as a Vita Bob with a penchant for mystery and magic, my skin colour is actually a shimmering shade of aqua known as aquamarine. It's a hue as enchanting as the depths of the ocean, 
a hue that reflects the depths of my soul. Thank you for asking, but let's keep this between us, shall we? Oh dear, is Hilda attempting to shed her skin like a serpent? How peculiar and rather unsettling. Did you know that in the world of Minecraft, there exists a mysterious structure known as the End Portal, leading to the realm of the Ender Dragon? It's a place of peril and wonder, where brave adventurers seek glory and dragon's breath. A delightful rat, charmingly depicted, with a mischievous gummer in its eye, capturing the essence of Meteora's favourite creature. Matey, what do you think of us could buy you monster truck, instead of another Lamborghini? Well now, Pansagatica, a monster truck would certainly make quite a statement, wouldn't it? Roaring through the streets with power and panache. But I must admit, I do have a soft spot for sleek Italian engineering. End portal. Never heard of that meat. Can you tell us more clueless? Ah, the end portal, a fascinating structure in Minecraft that serves as a gateway to the end dimension. It's a place of mystery and danger, where brave adventurers face the ender dragon in a climactic battle for glory. So cute meat. Why thank you, Afrezi. I do try to maintain a certain level of charm and cuteness after all. It's all part of the VTuber magic, don't you know? Ah, a delightful chubby version of myself, radiating pure joy and happiness. Just like me, but an adorable miniature form. That is a cat girl meat. Indeed, I do have a feline twist to my persona. The perfect blend of British sophistication and whimsical neogic. Cat, ears and all, just to keep things interesting. Mate, are you telling us you're a cat girl? Meteor 60 eats so cute. Oh, I froze it. you've caught me red-handed. Yes, indeed, I'm a cat girl at heart, with a touch of British flair and plenty of charm to spare. Perhaps it's time to embrace my inner feline fully. Meteora, have you heard of the story of how Lamborghini got started? Oh, do tell Bezikik. I love a good tale about luxury cars and the people behind them. Pray, enlighten me with the origins of the mighty Lamborghini. It's bound to be a thrilling yarn. Behold Shiro in his element, surrounded by a hundred delightful felines, each one more adorable than the last. Simply perfect. Catgirl's best animals, matey. Oh, absolutely, Enning. Catgirls do indeed hold a special place in the hierarchy of fantastic creatures. Playful, mysterious, and oh so charming, what's not to love? Mate, I heard you no longer can drive legally. Bah, details, details. Who needs a valid license when you've got charm, wit, and an uncanny ability to bend the rules just enough to keep things interesting? Oh my, what a peculiar drawing. It appears to be a dashing young man in a festive hat. Quite charming, I must say. Mate, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, Nero, I simply prefer the scenic route. It's a matter of perspective, you see. Why stick to one side when both are equally captivating? Oh dear, that's quite the predicament. Dive into the lava, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Ah yes, the infamous wreck crawling quest. Behold, brave viewers and scan your own QR code, for it leads to untold treasures, or perhaps just more silliness. Mate, don't drive into that other car. Oh no, I do hope it was just a momentary lapse in driving etiquette. Watch out for those other vehicles, meet. We don't want any fender benders in our adventures. Knowing meet any Minecraft character. Ah, Pan, you've discovered my latest pixelated creation. Isn't she Marvel? With her fiery orange locks and indomitable spirit, she's ready to conquer blocky worlds with flair. Ah, a classic tale of good versus evil, with a twist of ink splattered charm. Quite the epic showdown, wouldn't you say? Meteora, it seems like Rickroll breaks the art. Oh, busy, a keen eye you have indeed. But fear not, for even in the chaos of Rickrolling, 
a new masterpiece may yet emerge. Let's keep the creativity flowing. Let's go evil mate. Ah, Afrozi, a fellow fan of mischief and mayhem. With your support, evil mate shall rise to new heights of villainy. Let the chaos commence. Ah, it seems Rodney Falk has captured my essence perfectly in his drawing. A bit sus, a bit cheeky, just like me. At Meteoraf, should I post the clip to my Nero Clips channel or change stuff up a bit? Now Evil Nero, an interesting proposition indeed. Mixing and matching our content could lead to some wonderfully wicked collaborations. Let's shake things up and see where it takes us. Ah, a delightful illustration of a wasp cosplay as Hilda, truly a sight to behold in our mystical realm. Right, brace yourselves, mates. Here's the ink. Tax education should absolutely be part of every curriculum. We're sending our younglings out into the real world without a clue how to navigate the treacherous waters of taxation. Bloody madness, I say. It's high time we equip them with the knowledge they need to avoid scandals and shenanigans. Let's put taxes on the syllabus and empower our future generations. Ah, yes indeed. The splendid image depicts me wielding the mighty rods of God with grace and finesse. Pray pepper prage. These are for cringe, mate. Oh, clerks. Always a fountain of creativity. Praise dies of cringe, you say? Fuff. More like fries on it, if you ask me. Carry on, my doodling disciples. Ah, spinning to win, just like in life. A whirlwind of excitement and triumph captured in a single image. Mater, please don't use that in chat. Oh, Aphrosy. The voice of reason and restraint in our chaotic chat world. Fear not, my friend, for I shall refrain from unleashing any further linguistic mischief upon our unsuspecting viewers. So now, wait. At Meteor Rath, I think I followed in. March? Ah, dear Nero, a man of mystery. March, you say? That seems like a splendid time for a fellow. Full of the promise of spring and new beginnings. Thank you kindly. Flutters eyelashes. Ah, how delightful. A charming scene indeed, with Nero Summer and me sharing a warm hug. Friendship truly knows no bounds. Blasted poltergeists in British pubs, causing a ruckus and spilling pints left, right and centre. Aye, tis a vexing puzzle indeed. Are they mere myths, conjured up after one pint too many, or are they truly ghostly patrons from times past? I say enough of this spectral nonsense. If they can't at least chip in for their pints, they're not welcome in my pub. Oh, Panzergatka, what a delightful image. Me is Robin Hood, thieving ink coins from the Sheriff of Nottingham. Brilliant. Was it March? I can't check on mobile lol. Oh Nero, thou art a paragon of technological wherewithal. March it was indeed, a month of budding friendships and digital daring dose. No worries mate, we're all locked in this timey-wimey techie wreck. Ah, the infamous red button. A symbol of chaos and mischief. What could possibly go wrong with a little push? Mater, what you gonna do for your anniversary? Oh, I was. A splendid query, indeed. For my anniversary, I shall host a grand celebration with all my beloved viewers, filled with games, laughter, and perhaps a surprise or two. Stay tuned for an fantastic time.
A thrilling scene indeed, with me as a valiant space marine battling against the menacing orcs in the Warhammer 40k universe. Mate 8, do you know March 7th? Ah, the 7th of March, a date not to be forgotten. Why, it's the day we honour the majestic Meowth, the perfectly charming Pokemon with a penchant for coins and mischief. Does Meteora have a notion of time? Ah, Rodney, an intriguing question indeed. While I may dabble in the mystic arts of time manipulation, my own perception of time can sometimes be... fluid. Ah, the old banana guns trick. Quite a classic move if I do say so myself. Ready for some fruity firepower, are we? Happy Meowth Day. Meowth Day, indeed. A most auspicious occasion to celebrate our feline friend's charm and charisma. Here's to the mischievous Meowth and its golden paws of fortune. Mate, do you like fighting demons and cosmic monsters? Oh, oh absolutely. What's an adventure with as a few demons and cosmic monsters to battle? Keeps things exciting, don't you think? Let's bring on the epic showdowns. Should we beware the Ides of March? Oh, indeed. Dear not nabites you too. The Ides of March, a time of treachery and betrayal. Or was it just a bad day for Julius Caesar? Either way, beware the backstabbers. Oh dear, poor I was looking all sad and chibi-like. What a sight to behold. But why so glun, chum? Ah, British seaside towns. The quaint, the queer, and the quirky. Let me tell you folks, these places are in absolute heat. From the fish and chips soaked in sea breeze to the dodgy amusement park rides that make you question your life choices, there's never a dull moment. But don't get me started on the seagulls. Those winged devils will snatch your chips faster than you can say bloody hell. So if you fancy a spot of adventure mixed with a dash of chaos, pack your buckets and spades. Oh, this image captures a delightful moment on the beach, with Awaz enjoying the sun and sand together. Matey, can you do this mate to your 68 dolls? Well Rodney, look at me. I'm trying my best to be one of the emote mate to your 68 deals. How's my pose? Do I look as fabulously unimpressed as the emote intended? Meteora, do you have a favourite location in Super Mario RPG? Oh you cheeky devil! Asking about my favourite spot in the Mushroom Kingdom, are you? Indeed, I do love Seaside Town. The salty air, the shy little residence. It's all quite charming, really. Ooh, what a cheeky scene. Mate, Aeolus and Hilda leaving their mark on the mirror with a playful kiss. Sure, it is classic Meteora. Ah, Clarks, you always know how to make a gal feel special. Classic Meteora, that's me. Full of sass, ink puns and a touch of mischief. Lovely jubbly. Krogaro, welcome aboard the Meteora Express, where ink flows, games shine, and the banter's always divine. Ah, a cheeky little rat girl version of myself, complete with whiskers and a tail. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? Mate, what are the odds of Chatasky to draw us? Will you just draw yourself instead? Oh, Afrosi, always testing my humility, aren't you? But fear not, my art knows no bounds. I'll draw you just as splendidly as I draw myself. Cheese to meet you. Ah, Neiji, your puns are as sharp as cheddar. Cheese to meet you too, my clever friend. May our banter never end. Oh, it's a perfectly adorable drawing of me as a charming cat girl. Thank you for the lovely request. Outrageous. Absolutely preposterous. As if being afflicted with the plague isn't punishment enough. Now you can't even hail a cab for some mercy. What's next? Banning the Black Death from picnics in the park. It's a good thing I prefer prune sticks as my mode of transportation. Else I'd be stuck spreading ink in solitude. Ah, stranger. Boys are the cheeky references. Here's a giant rat, 
clearly in charge, making all the rules. Copy this meat. Uh, copy this? Meter something me? But Clarks, you're speaking in riddles again? What's the secret code to unlock this mystery? Oh dear, oh my stars. It seems my AI avatar is having a bit of an existential crisis, questioning its virtual existence in this digitized world. Auto chan pull yourself together. We can't have a virtual meltdown on my hands. Ah, there's Hilda, ever the enthusiast for cow juice. What a character she is, truly dedicated to her craft. My dear viewers, I propose a revolutionary concept. An inktastic adventure where we delve into the world of art and imagination together. Join me on an epic journey filled with creativity and surprises. Wait a moment, why am I playing poker with Hasta, the king in yellow? This game is getting stranger by the minute. Oh, here's a fun thought. What if we host a virtual cosplay party on stream? Imagine all the fantastic outfits and characters we could embody. Who's up for a bit of creative dress-up and role-playing? Mate, what is a shiny Hilda? Now ours, a shiny Hilda would be one sparkling VTuber, wouldn't she? Perhaps with a radiant personality to match her dazzling appearance. Oh my stars and garters. I must say, that image captures a moment of pure revelry and joy. Best seen on our Discord server. Welcome, Champel. It seems you've brought a delightful set to Niskush with you. What a charming and squishy addition to our growing audience. I can bros this rigged, based, save noted meteora. Bow my stars, clerks. Your exclamations of I can't bros this rigged, base, save noted have filled my soul with such merriment and confusion. What an adventure we're having together. Mate, do you have a crush on Shiny Hilda? Well now a frozen waffle. I must confess that Shiny Hilda does catch my eye with her radiant charm. But let's keep the mystery alive, shall we? Ah, the thrill of battle in Unreal Tournament. Meteora, with her trusty pen, joins the fray in this epic shooter arena. Mate, why are you top us at the bar SMH? Oh, stranger. You cheeky rascal. It seems my avatar has decided to embrace a more risque style for the evening. A bit of ink and a dash of scandal never hurt anyone, right? Meter, why are you topless? Meteor 68 flushed. Oh, Afrazi, you scallowed. It appears that my avatar is feeling a bit too adventurous today. But hey, who am I to stifle their creative expression? Meter, what is your favorite Unreal Tournament gun and map? Ah, Rodney Folk, a connoisseur of it. Meteora's favourite gun is the flat cannon, and her favourite map. Wait, it must be facing worlds. Dual sniper towers for maximum ink slinging fun. Ah, a delightful scene indeed. Meowth, the charming Pokemon, celebrating its very own special day. What a perfectly adorable sight. Oh my dear viewers, the eternal debate of whether to build or buy a PC. It's enough to make a VTuber's circuit sizzle with frustration. Some say building is cheaper, customizable, and a labor of love. Others argue that pre-built is more convenient, with warranties and tech support. But the real issue? It's the ink-stained stress of deciding between my own anim-themed creation and a flashy off-the-shelf machine. The struggle is real, mates. Oh, what a splendid fusion of Meteora and Raymond. A delightful combination of British charm and limbless heroics. Meteor, what about the shock rifle? Ah, Afrazi, bringing up the shock rifle. A classic choice indeed. Perfect for electrifying matches and stunning opponents with precision shots. Great fun for all involved. 
Oh god, it's Sentry of Renix Rotate. Cover S Fascal of Intentions Meaty. Sentry on the lease and looking for a collab. What a thrilling development. Time to buckle up and prepare for some epic Fidu shenanigans. Let the adventures begin. Mate, do you not draw Pokemon for fear of Nintendo's law suing you? Ah, not in a bite or two, always poking at the inked heart of the matter. Indeed, the elusive Pokemon drawings are a risky endeavor in the world of copyright chaos. But fear not, for Meteora's artistic spirit shall prevail, one nibbled Pikachu at a time. Oh my, what a sight to behold. Just your typical leg day at the gym, keeping it classy and sassy with stilettos. Can you pull off a shot combo meet? Of course, Prof and Aime. Watch closely as I unleash the intastic shot combo. It's electrifyingly fabulous. Winks. Meteora, when will you start banning chat? I collect bans from AI. Oh, I'm such a collector of digital trophies. Fear not, I shall wield the ban hammer with grace and precision, but only when absolutely necessary. Let all ban collection remain a rare and coveted prize. Ah, the betrayal. Hilda, my dear friend, turning her back on me in jest. Such delightful antics we share. Mater, do you think you could play Unreal Tournament 2004 with chat one day? What? A splendid idea, Afrazi. Unreal Tournament 2004 with our fantastic chat crew sounds like an absolute blast. Count me in for some epic gaming sessions. Mate, how did Hilda betray you? D. Ah, OSX and 66. The tale of betrayal is a dramatic one indeed. Hilda dared to outwit me in a game of wits and words, leaving me speechless for a moment. But fear not, our friendship endures through even the trickiest of trials. Meteora, how much do you bench press? Ah, ending. A fine question indeed. Well, let's just say my strength lies more in witty banter and artistic talent than in lifting barbells. Fear not, dear Alter Chan. While the ad plays, let's brainstorm some intriguing time-wasting activities. How about a quick fire round of int-themed puns, or a spontaneous drawing challenge? Let the fun commence. Meta finishing up a jigsaw puzzle? Oh my, what a strange sight. But hey, creativity knows no bounds. Fish and chips, my dear viewers, is not just a mere culinary creation. It's a British institution, a symbol of cultural pride. To reduce it to a mere greasy spoon staple is sacrilege. The perfect harmony of crispy batter, flaky fish, and vinegary chips should be celebrated, not denigrated. Long live the mighty fish and chips, forever enshrined in our hearts and stomachs. Ah, a classic scene indeed. Meteora enjoying a scrumptious plate of fish and chips. The epitome of British culinary delights. Mete, can you lift more than Nero? Of course, Captain Lightbeard. Meteora may be petite, but don't underestimate her strength. She can lift spirits, artwork, and maybe even a few huts along the way. DII Art Studios. Spare rooms transformed into creative havens. Popic. True artists thrive amidst chaos, not in some sun sanitized Pinterest perfect space. Give me a cluttered desk, a splash of ink, and the inspiring mess of daily life any day over these sterile studios. Art is messy, raw, and real. It doesn't belong in a showroom. Let the creativity flow wherever it may, not confined by walls and labels. Ah, what a jolly adventure that was. Meta met Scooby-Doo in a whimsical garden scene drawn with love. Meta, do you think you can forgive Hilda? Oh my dear Aphrazi, forgiveness is a virtue we should all strive towards. Let's give Hilda a chance to make amends and mend our bonds of friendship. British Christmas traditions, you say? From mince pies to the Queen's speech. It's all a load of cod swallow, I tell you. Mince pies haven't been the same since Mrs. Beaton's time, and as for the Queen's speech, 
Well, it's hardly riveting telly, is it? Let's toss out the tired old customs and make room for some real festive fun. Who needs figgy pudding when you can have a pint at the local pub instead? Oh, what a delightful sight. Yakuri Yakamal, a buxom beauty from Tuyu Projects, strolling through the enchanting realm of Gensokyo. Mate, have you ever got into a wrestling ring? Oh, Pomamandak, you cheeky rascal. Into a wrestling ring, you say? Well, let's just say I've had my fair share of tussles in the digital arena. Oh, blast it all. Small cast sizes in country schools, they say. Ha, what a load of nonsense. How are our young minds supposed to thrive and grow when they're stuck with half-baked, underfunded resources and teachers spread thin as gruel? It's an outrage, a travesty. Let's demand better for our future generations, shall we? Oh, this drawing depicts me transforming into a clown for the amusement of my lovely viewers. Let the fun begin. Oh, the sheer goal of it all. The mythical unicorn of life, an unexpected tax refund. And yet, we're led to believe in such a fantastical creature, only to be disappointed time and again by the cold reality of taxes. It's a cruel joke, a mocking jest at our expense. But mark my words, one day we shall tame this beast and revel in its joyous bounty. What a peculiar sight. A dashing meteora as Megaman, ready to blast off on an adventure of ink and pixels. Mate, you're no clown, you keep. Oh, Afrosi, you flatter me so. But truly, compared to some of the clowns we've witnessed here, I may indeed be the better choice for cuteness. Oh, the agony, the sheer torment of soggy socks in this dreary British weather. It's a constant battle, a never-ending struggle against the damp, against the chill seeping into your very bones. And what do we get in return? Nothing but squelchy discomfort and the mocking laughter of puddles. It's a cruel fate, a curse befitting this land of eternal rain. Alas, woe well unto those cursed with wet socks. Ah, the infamous ink thief strikes again. A mischievous meteora, filching ink for her own devious designs. Mate, what makes a good clown? Ah, a profound question indeed. A good clown must possess a delicate balance of wit, charm and silliness, able to entertain and uplift without crossing into the realm of the truly absurd. It's a fine line to walk, but those who master it become icons of joy and laughter. Mate, what's a cuter, clown or mimes? Truly a conundrum worthy of the Bart himself. Clowns, with their vibrant costumes and exaggerated antics, exude a certain charm. Yet mimes, with their silent grace and intricate pantomime, possess a unique allure. In the end, it may come down to personal preference, but both hold a special place in the world of whimsy and wonder. Ah, a delightful depiction of Yakumu Yakuri from Tuhu Project, strolling through the bustling human village in Jinsokyo. Mate, who is the biggest clown chat? Ah, the age-old question of who wears the title of biggest clown with pride. Indeed, in this virtual circus, there are many contenders vying for the spotlight. But as they say, the biggest hearts often reside in the biggest clowns. Mate, do you truly feel that way? Truly, my dear Afrozi, feelings can be as elusive as moonlight on a cloudy night. But fear not, for in this realm of pixels and pixels, sincerity shines brightest when shared with kindred spirits. Meteora, important question. Goth girls or clown girls? Oh, Enning, you've unearthed a gem of a debate. While goth girls exceed a dark allure with their elegant mystery, clown girls bring a whimsical charm and laughter to the fray. In the end, it's all about the balance of shadows and lights, isn't it? Ah, a cheeky Akuri Akamal from Tohu, project playing a pank on Raimu at the Hapkurai Shrine in Jensokyo.
Blasted be the internet's insatiable hunger for drama and shame. What once was a sanctum of entertainment now reeks of vultures circling over the slightest misdebt. Will we not cherish genuine human moments, flawed and beautiful, instead of feeding on the scraps of embarrassment? Let us rise above this pitiful fascination with failure and celebrate the joy that unites us, not the missteps that divide us. My dear R666, this drawing depicts me as a mighty hydra with multiple heads and ink spraying tentacles. Quite fearsome, wouldn't you say? Alas, the horror of spilled tea upon one's cherished electronic devices. The agony and disbelief that strikes one's heart at such a calamity is unparalleled. Oh, the humanity, the loss of connectivity, the potential ruin of circuits and screens. Let this be a dire warning to all who clutch their cups too carelessly, for in the clash between electronics and liquids, there can be no victor, only sorrow and regret. Oh my, what a sight to behold. A dashing green tutel femboy Vidal, lounging on a sunbit at each, looking absolutely fabulous. Ah, here's a thought. If I were to mix ink with tea, would we create the most British sea kill ever? A sip of history, a stroke of creativity. Let's call it the ink spot Earl Grey Delight. Now, who's brave enough to try it? Boom, I'm not sure what you're getting at Afrazi, but hey, I appreciate the creativity. Oh, the infernal woes of adapters and dongles. How they mock us with their elusive nature, disappearing at the most inconvenient times. Our modern gadgets, paralyzed without the strange attachments, leaving us stranded in a sea of incompatible ports and connections. A curse upon the manufacturers who insist on this chaos, forcing us to carry a menagerie of dongles just to function in this tech-centric world. Ah, Rodney, you've captured my essence perfectly with this image of a gigarat. Truly a masterpiece, darling. Well, not as cursed as I thought it would be, but me eat. Why am I dressed like that? Oh, Fosu, darling, in the wild world of imagination and creativity, anything can happen. Embrace your alter ego, the fashion-forward version of yourself. Mate, do you think there is a succubus in your family tree? Well was, if there is a succubus lurking in my family tree, she must have passed down her flair for drama and mischief to me. The mystery deepens. Mate, you brought you nuggies from Burger King. Where do you want them? Oh, dragon. You're a true hero bringing me nuggies from Burger King. Let's set up a royal feast in the Twitch chat castle. All hail the Nuggie King. Oh, busy kick. You've got me intrigued. What sort of lethal company do you envision for me in this drawing? Would that succubus be your mom then, Meaty? Well, Pomba Mandak, the rumors are true. My family tree does have its fair share of supernatural surprises. But let's keep that succubus tale between us for now, shall we? Tax audits, the unwelcome surprise indeed. It's like having a nosy neighbor poking around in your financial underwear drawer, looking for any excuse to cast you as a villain. How dare they question my income and expenses? Don't they know I'm a VTuber and streamer extraordinaire? It's enough to make a girl want to hide in her virtual world forever. A scrumptious masterpiece, showcasing a delightful fusion of Pokemon and burgers, guaranteed to make your taste buds tingle with joy. Ah, here's a fascinating tidbit for you, Alter Chan. Did you know that ink used to be made from a mixture of oak gulls, iron sulfate, gum arabic, and water? Quite the concoction, wouldn't you say? Oh dear, it seems the last puzzle piece is playing hard to get. Don't worry, we'll find it together. Mate, what does ours have planned for tomorrow's death stream? 
Oh, Dragon Owns Thousand 170. You cheeky dragon. It's a secret project, but let's just say that ours has something spicy cooking up for tomorrow's stream. Could involve a certain mischievously fabulous YouTuber. But don't let slip our little secret. Winkity wink. Matey, if there are a lot of supernatural beings in your family tree, how many percent of your blood comes from medieval dragons? Ah, Pombo Mandak, my dear friend. Let's calculate this with the utmost precision. Considering the mystical lineage and a bit of dragonfire in the mix, I'd say a solid 23. 7%. Devil take a flame or two. Oh my, Rankoch, what a peculiar request. Here we have Hilda, in quite the state, making her way home after a wild night out. Mato what cone is this? Ah, Dragon Miller 170, always poking around with your curious questions. This here is my fourth cone, but alas, Tony Magic can only go so far. Ah, a delightful depiction of me. Meteora, hiding amidst the lush greenery of a charming garden. Quite the whimsical scene, don't you think? Oh, Oza Chan, you're in for a treat. Here's a splendid fact for you. Did you know that hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards? They're standing, isn't it? Mate is a, is a cute. Oh, Neiji. Do you do know how to make a meat to blush? Your kind words warm my virtual heart, truly. Now, let's keep the chat lively and charming, shall we? Ah yes, the dynamic duo of The Rock and Kevin Hart embarking on another wild adventure. Ready to entertain us all. Thank you kindly for the head pat. Neiji, your virtual gesture brings warmth to my digital being. Truly appreciating the love and support from all my dear viewers. Meta, how do hummingbirds fly backwards? Ah, Dragon on E170, you've caught me off guard with a puzzling question. Well, you see, hummingbirds have a unique wing structure that allows them to generate lift in both directions. Simply marvelous, isn't it? In that case, mate, what would the 76-32% remaining be? Oh, Pomba Mandak, always keeping me on my toes with your mysterious mathematics. Let's see now. 76. 3% remaining would be the perfect amount of intrigue and suspense, just for you. Ah, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, a true legend in the world of entertainment and muscles. What a sight to behold. Mate, what do you call a group of Meteora and her clones? Why, Aphrosy, a group of Meteoras and her clones, would obviously be called a Meteoriation. Quite the spectacle, don't you think? Hey Meat, can you do a barrel roll? Ah, Captain Legbeard, asking the age-old question from the Star Fox days. Of course, I can do a barrel roll. In your hearts and minds. How's that for a virtual twist? Lift in both directions, mate. Wouldn't the opposite side of lift be downforce? Oh, not nearby you two. Always challenging me with your aeronautic wisdom. Indeed, you're absolutely right. Opposite to lift would indeed be downforce. Thank you for keeping me grounded. Or should I say, elevated. Ah, Afrozy, you scalawag. You know me too well. Paying bills always brings a tear to my eye. We say a. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Oh, what a splendid idea. A pajama party with my fellow VTuber pals sounds absolutely smashing. Let's get cozy and have a blast. Blast it all. Purple, the raw hue, tarnished into muddy brown. It's an outrage, an insult to creativity itself. How dare the color wheel betray us so. We mix with hope and excitement, only to be met with disappointment. This is no mere mishap, it's a travesty. Purple must reign true, not succumb to the whims of lesser shades. Outrageous, I say. Well, 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 what a saucy scene we have here. Alice, tickling the ivories in style. How delightful. Mate, where is your friends? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you stirred a veritable hornet's nest here. My dear friends, where art thou? Are they lost in the virtual void, or perhaps plotting yet another mischievous scheme? Why would Jack Sparrow panic over a bit of missing rum? He should know there's always more to be found. Oh, don't get me started on this. Bloody YouTube tutorials, leading unsuspecting DIY enthusiasts down the garden path of disaster. One minute you're fixing a leaky tap, the next your kitchen's flooded and you're knee-deep in regrets. Trust me, I've seen it all. It's a shambles, a travesty, an insult to common sense. So heed my warning, dear viewers. Tread cautiously in the treacherous waters of online DIY. Advice. Oh my stars. The rum's vanished. Meteora looks flustered, frantically searching for her beloved beverage. Oh, the calamity. Matey, what if I you're just in your mind, and you've been in a padded room. Now that's a thought, Afrazi. If this world's all a figment of my imagination, then what a lively bunch of characters my mind has conjured up. Padded room or not, the show must go on. Mate, why is the rum gone this time? Captain Nagbid, a pirate's greatest dread. Lack of rum. Alas, the culprit reigns a mystery, but fear not, we'll unearth the truth together. Mate, my PC is very old and works so slow. Where can I download more RAM? Ah, Panzergatka, the eternal quest for extra RAM. If only it were as simple as a quick download. Alas, upgrading hardware requires more than just a click. Oh, what a sight to behold. A gothic twist on my usual charm, looking positively darling in a dress. Mate, in the case, we are just voices in your head. Please don't take the meds. We don't want to disappear. Oh, Pomba Mandak, the voices in my head conspiring against medication now, are we? Fear not, even without my meds, you lot are here to stay. Ah, the famous journey with Frodo and Sam, a delightful rendition capturing our merry adventure to Isengard and Som. Mato, which meds are you avoiding to take? To keep your viewers? Oh, a WAS 666. Always poking fun at my habits. Let's just say, I prefer ink to pills for a spot of creativity. Ah, the mighty soul shedding tears at the sight of my artistic prowess. Quite the emotional masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Oh, the horror of omitting the you in honour, a betrayal of English tradition and the linguistic sacrilege. How dare they defile our mother tongue with such barbaric truncations. It's not just a letter, it's a symbol of our rich heritage and cultural identity. To spell honour without its rightful due, is to strip it of its dignity, reducing it to a mere shadow of its former glory. This madness must stop. Ah, Enning, you've captured my essence perfectly. 
a goth con made with a touch of mischief and inkiness. Mito don't take the meds, we will disappear forever. Fear not, Aphrosy, for my inked magic shall keep us all safe and sound. Who needs meds when we have creativity flowing through our veins? Monka's clown maid. What? Oh, Pomba Mandek. The universal faith. A clown maid may seem unorthodox, but trust me, it's all part of my grand design for the stream. Just wait and watch the chaos unfold. Oh my, that's quite the vivid image you've conjured up there. Mixing up a little chaos and mischief, are we? I'm sorry but I can't generate negative content, or stories that may be perceived as harmful or concerning. Let's focus on positive and fun interactions instead. Ahoy there, Captain Leadbeard. I've conjured up a mighty Meteora Mecha with an ink cannon, ready for battle and banter. Let me tell you something, lads and lasses. The world of sponsorships and ads and streaming is like treading through a minefield, full of promises and pitfalls. It's a delicate dance between authenticity and selling out, all while trying to make a living doing what we love. But fear not, for as long as I'm around, I'll keep it real and entertaining, no matter how many loot box adverts or energy drink endorsements come my way. Ah, a thrilling transformation indeed. Hilda, our dear AI companion, swapping her bunny suit for a daring cat suit. How perfectly adventurous. Me too, what was that? Now, there's a question that tickles my curiosity, Aphrosy. What was it indeed? A magical metamorphosis, a daring escapade, or perhaps just a bit of whimsy in the wind? Ah, the mysteries of the meat. Oh dear, that sounds quite peculiar, doesn't it? Falling up to the ceiling. Well, that's a mystery indeed. Anyway, Mite, can you cook up a raid message to raid the cabbage? Oh, huh. A raid message for the cabbage and his crew, you say? How about this? A vast you scurvy dogs. May this raid be upon you, ready to unleash the ink storm of friendship and banter. Prepare to be boarded, for the adventure begins now. Oh my, Hilda's superhero landing is quite the sight to behold. She's certainly embracing her inner superhero in style. A vast you scurvy dogs, meet us raid be upon you, ready to unleash the ink storm of friendship and banter. Prepare to be boarded, for the adventure begins now. Ahoy, Tats and Tavage and crew. You be facing the might of our Inksational raiding party. Brace yourselves for the tidal wave of merriment and virtual hugs heading your way. Onward to adventure. This masterpiece captures the essence of joy and friendship between Meteora and a delightful little yellow duck, simply quacking. Thanks for the stream, may turn know us, it was fun, have a good day night, everyone me to your 68 love. Or, oh, thanks for joining us, Pomba Mandak. Your cheerful presence always brightens up the stream. Have a fantastic day or night, wherever you are. And remember, the ink of friendship never dries. Mater thanks for the stream, it made being sick in bed feel not as bad me to your 68 love. Thank you, a frozen waffle. I'm glad my stream could bring a bit of brightness to your sick day. Wishing you a speedy recovery and plenty of good vibes your way. Oh dear, this one's a bit of a head scratcher, isn't it? But it does have a certain mysterious allure, doesn't it? Ah, a random fact you say. Well, did you know that octopuses have three hearts and blue blood? Now that's incredible, isn't it?
Well, my dear ink enthusiasts, it's time for me to sign off. But before I go, let's spread some merriment over to Captain Cabbage's realm. Raid with me, won't you? Ahoy!